T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. everybody another arcade talks thursday edition hopefully you guys are all having a great week the weekend is almost upon us even though it's a rainy nasty day here hopefully everybody's having a great week let's get the uh, papa brad on here papa brad's intro is coming at you now oh, papa brad's a gay man he's got passion in his soul from pinball tables to atari he's always in control He's a master of retro man, the old school style's his thing. With every flick of the joystick, you can hear the twang ting. Stay legit, pop a bread, keep the high school living. From the classic arcades, to the Atkins pinball board. With the Atari 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true yourself, Papa Brad, and always stay legit. He's a lover of the classics, the sound of pixelated beats. Late nights at the arcade with every game defeat. But he'll keep on pushing till he's reached that final stage. Papa Brad's the gaming legend, his passion never fades. Baby Jeez, Papa Brad, keep the high school open. From the classic arcades to the at games pinball board. With the SRE 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true to yourself, pop a breath, and always stay legit. Welcome, Pop. All right. All right. <laughs> What's, up? Intro? What's up, man? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I spent too much oh. time working on that, but uh, that was fun. That was fun. What an intro, yeah. huh? It looked like you had fun on that. Yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun making that. So what's up, T. McCloskey? Not much, man. Not much. Man, we had a phenomenal week in that Back to the Future tournament. It was insane. There was so much competition. Wow. Damn, and I dude, I didn't. We had a record it. number of players. We set a new record for our K Talk. We hit fifty, right? Did we get any more than fifty? I didn't over look. fifty. I think we we might even have went over fifty actually. Yeah, I didn't even get on there all week, man. I, I, I played the last Thursday, and that was it. Never got back well, on it. You did good. You put a good score in. Yeah, but I only, that was only my second game. It's only time I played. I only played twice. I never got back on it. Fucking doing too much shit outside here, man. Damn spring That's cleanup. Fun, though. Yeah, that was a fun table. I, I really liked mm -hmm. it. Wish I could have played a little more. <clears throat> so what's going cool? on? You want to say hello to everyone in the chat? we got a lot of people here. Welcome, everybody, to chat. Who we got in there? Pop right. Uh, let's see, we got Jason Little Alien, we got Carl O, we got Marine 50, welcome to the show. Ray De La Torre, welcome to the show. Common Sense 200, high scores on tap, good to see you. Got Dan Z, got uh, Hobby Hands, welcome to the show. Incognito, Juan D, hello everyone on my rainy day. Got Mobile <laughs> Mutant here, welcome to the stream. Mikey Yoon, good to see you. Welcome, guys. 
And Kid uh, King King Ed A V. King Ed's here. Welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, so welcome. If I missed you, it wasn't on purpose. If I missed you, it wasn't on purpose. And if you're not chatting, we're still glad you're here. So thanks for being thanks for joining us tonight. I think you got everybody. Welcome everybody. Hope you're having a great week. The weekend's almost here. Guess what else is almost here, Pop Brad? It's we're getting close. Here. We're getting close. We're getting close to uh pinball net coming pinball out. Net. Pinball net. I know. Sixteenth. Just I can't this. wait, man. I'm counting the days. I'm counting the days, Team McCloskey. I want to get counting all those days. Gottlieb tables. Yep. Get the rest of those uh, Zacharia tables. Those awesome tables are all just uh, waiting behind that pinball net. So I'm excited. We, it won't be long now. Five days. We got five days, man. Five days. That's it. Five more days. Five more days. And today's almost over. I think I'm counting tomorrow even, Friday. Um, if you don't count tomorrow, we got one... Two, three, four days. If you don't count tomorrow or today, well, being in tomorrow. So yeah, so we got five days. Pretty close, pretty close. So far, they have a hundred and forty tables, Team McCluskey. That's more than one or two. One hundred and forty. Yeah, one hundred and forty. That's a lot more than like one or two or even a three pack. That's one hundred and forty tables, like yeah. in one chunk. Boom! Yeah. Bam. And everybody, like it goes from like, uh, as far as my preloaded tables, it'll go from. I have a good amount already, but. That'll yeah, really too. get me having everything. I think I'll have everything at that point. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have everything. On that. I think I'll have everything that's available. The uh, only one I won't have is third pack of Taito. I don't have the third pack of Taito. Okay, I get the first yeah. two. But only after this, that's the only thing I'll be missing. Is I bought the... all the Taito and Dr. Seuss packs. So I think this is everything else. Yep. It's just the all... Zacharias and uh, what else is in there? Gottlieb. Gottlieb, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got that. So it's coming. Let's... Hey, we got Big E D just popped in. Good to see you, Big E D. Welcome What's up, Big to the stream. E. D? Oh, you get natural history too. So you get the Gottlibs. Here's a list here. The Gottlibs, natural history, and Zacharias. So there you go. Okay. Well, it came so, with a natural history. Oh, yeah, it's true. So, and, and, and all of the came with them. Yeah. So. And, and all the all the pinball machines do too, right? Mm -hmm. So we all have that. It's really Really no yeah, so many tables there. I have on my HD. I can't wait to can't wait to play them on the uh, 4KP pro platform, and just enjoy them there as well. So, yeah, they say 141, but you really you take out the four natural history, it knocks it down to what 137, because everybody already has a natural history. Yeah, because it came with that. Yeah, I mean all the machines. Which it should, because those are some those are some great tables. I mean. Oh yeah. I mean, the, the Magic Pixel and the Zacharia tables are some of the best running stock tables that you can play on the, on the pinball right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't play on the tournament with the Switch, Biggie D. It stinks, man. I, and I don't know why they don't include the Switch. Just because, I mean, I understand why they don't do, um, you know, other games. But this, these are just scores. So I don't understand why they can't have Switch in the, the tournament since it's just a score, you know. It's not nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wish they would look into that and get them in there. Because, like I said, all it is is plugging a number, you know, out of your scores. That's it. But yeah, Snoopy's delayed. But, like, that game always says, man, subject to change. It's never 100%. Yeah. yeah. Never 100% I mean, until it's Just make it, make it good, you know. It's okay if it's a little late as long as it's good. That's yeah. how I feel. I mean, like, the schedule yeah. is really just to give you a rough idea when things should be coming out. I mean, it's not it's not written in stone, you know. No, the world, the say world doesn't too. end. It's not Fallout. By the way, have you seen the Fallout show? It's incredible. I'm on like the fourth one, and I'm loving it. This new show that came on, it's called Fallout, based on the video game. Yeah, I just see a, a trailer for it. Man, it is. Good. I'm surprised. Team McCloskey. I love the franchise, but the the show is outstanding. It's it's an excellent show. I mean, as far as I've watched it, I'm on the fourth the fourth episode right now, but I'm loving it. Yeah, and I, and I don't think this uh, boot up will, will be that much delayed, anyways, because there's not a whole lot to it. Um, but, yeah. But like the schedule they came out with, it said subject to change. So well, I think the attack from Mars one did release on schedule, didn't it? Yeah, it was at out. I haven't I, seen it yet. Do you, you want to see it, Pop Brad? I haven't even seen it. I, I I just saw it on the schedule, but I've not actually seen what the actual animation is. I got a copy and, of it. Uh, I got a copy of it's it. It's like the Adams Family. It just said it on the back glass. It does say Legends Pinball when it boots up. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly like uh, the Adams Family how it boots up. But it's just a different. Yeah. 
And I don't know, did anybody in the chat have Attack from Mars? Did it have a boot up screen before this one? That's what I'm not sure. Did it come with a boot up screen or is this it? Or is this oh their boy, boot oh boy, Goofy Fit, Goofy Foot's on the fifth episode of Fallout. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. I have to say, like, this is one of the best shows I've watched in a very long time. I'm totally psyched for this Fallout show. I mean, I even got out T. McCloskey. Even got out my sugar bombs. Got out my sugar bombs for the show. If you're a Fallout fan, you know this is, is that from Fallout? Cereal. Yeah, this is from Fallout. This is the breakfast cereal. It's little bombs. Look at the cereal. It's like little 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 atomic bombs. Oh, okay. Where'd you bombs. get that at? I used to be in this Fallout crate where uh, remember when the loot crate was a thing? Yeah. I had a Fallout crate, so I have all I have a ton of Fallout hmm. stuff. Cool. Um, but this was one of the fallout items they sent me. It's just like a little cool bag. It's a sugar bombs, but I got all kinds of fallout stuff. I'm a huge fan of the fallout games. Did um, you play the fallout 76? I was, yeah, I was, I was a, a massive fan of that game. I played, I played the heck out of that. You play, which one was called? It was the multiplayer one. You actually, that play was the other. multiplayer one, the online one. Did you have that one? I had do, them all. Do you have yeah, it? I've had. I have them all. Yeah, I have every Fallout. You should play on there sometime, man. I got it on my. Uh, do you? I have it too. I have it on my I have PlayStation it on my PS4. Four. Yeah, that's what I got it on. I got to like a ridiculous high level too. Um, really? I haven't played it in a while, but uh, I enjoy it. I used to. I used to stream that on my other playing. channel. I used to stream it on my other channel. Yeah, I think I got, I got up to like really level high too. I only got. Then what like happened was like I got so high, I was almost like in God mode, and then they nerfed all the weapons. So all these weapons that you that you worked so hard to get, they all became like basically like weak again. Hey, what's up, E. Leo? Welcome so. to the stream. Great show so far. Great show so far. All right, thanks, Wandy. Yeah, yeah, I have I have a big poster of the uh, Nuka Cola girl. It's like it's like a Fallout. Um, if you know about Fallout, it's like from the Fallout universe. It's a giant Nuka Cola girl poster. In my other game yeah. room, That's I don't cool. know if you've ever seen it on any of my videos, like my arcade tours or anything. But um, I probably have. I've seen it. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. cool dude, and I don't know what I did to my. I don't know what I did to my OTG Pinball M, but um, I couldn't get the tournament to load on my on my computer. But um, the hard drive I had stored it on crashed, so I probably just have to reinstall it. But oh yeah, probably. Um, I got everything working, but then the tournament would work. My my black glass is working, my DMD is working, and OTG mode. But I couldn't get the tournament to load for some reason. But uh, who knows? You know, computers are so crazy. There was a Windows update too, so no telling what I, what, what what happened. Yeah, who knows? That's right. I forgot. Yeah. Um, the so thing I is, I'm play it on my PlayStation um, to put in a score today on the uh, on the on the uh, thing. Yeah, we'll have to check it out. I ain't been on there yet. Mm -hmm. It's right, and that's how I got mine. I thought I had the thing already, but I, uh, when I went in there last night, I'm like, ah, I don't even have it. So I had the to buy it. But it's on sale right now. Four dollars and sixty six cents on Steam. Yep. yep. I got it on sale as well. I was pretty happy, man, because I thought I had it and I didn't. I'm like, damn it! And I went to the store. I'm like, yes, it's on sale. It's on <laughs> sale. Scoop it up. Like, yes. Scoop <laughs> it up. Like, like it's almost like we knew it was going to be on sale, but we really didn't know, Team McCloskey. It just happens. No, we didn't. It happens. We have, we have to luck out, and it's on sale. While we're I know. It's pretty cool. I mean, that was that was like uh, the universe working in our direction, I think. That's the second time, right? This is the second time. Uh, that's the second time we did a table, and it went on sale right when we did it. Yeah. That's crazy. But, uh, that's yeah, cool. I'm all for sales. I like sales, you know. I'm all for yeah, people think... getting better prices on everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not blaming Windows. I'm not sure what I, it's something I did. I'm sure probably who knows, but I always cross my fingers whenever I get those Windows updates. It seems to mess things up. Something gets yeah. messed up, and like the stuff I use doesn't get any better. You know what I mean, Team McCluskey? It's like oh, what are they updating? Are they just putting more copy protection on my computer? Are you putting more things to check to make sure I have your correct serial numbers for your Microsoft products? Is that what this is, or is this really a necessary update? So I don't, I never think they're. I hate up, to sound paranoid, there. but I mean, like I swear, I hate to update then things that I have that work stop working. Yeah, it always happens. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's fifteen percent off right now. It's normally five forty nine. The thing fifteen percent off. Fifteen. <laughs> it's basically uh, almost a dollar off. It's normally five forty nine. It's four sixty six right now. Well, that's cool. So hey, almost a buck off. So not bad. Yeah, the things are pretty fun. What do you think of the 
uh, thing table so far. It's challenging. I like it. It's challenging. Um, it's hard to get through the modes, but it, it's good. It's a good table. It's challenging. Yeah, it is challenging. You know, I'll probably take me a week to get better at it. Honestly, <laughs> you know, just just starting playing it. Um, but uh, I like the way it, it captures all the like key moments of the movie, the thing. You know, all the cool things that were in the thing are in it. Like the thing, the John Carpenter movie. Yeah. And uh, I did put a video up on Papa Brad Live, um, but we we won't play it here because it's got copyright claims in it. But it does show that all the scenes from the movie, they're in the game. So there's like the scene, all the scenes, like I just put a little oh. flash of each scene that actually is played out when you're playing the pinball game. It's pretty incredible. They really captured the key moments of the of the movie. Yep. It's pretty well done as far as that goes. Now, if you can execute all these modes, hats off to you. But uh, they're in there. Man, that thing just keeps wanting to pop up. Ray says it's one of Kurt Russell's best performances. I would have I agree. to agree. Yeah. Yep. For sure. I scored 95,000 Big D it's on the been thing. In so many good movies. Kurt Russell was amazing, man. So many good movies. There you go. Jason put the link in the description for the the Thing Pinball on Steam. Yep. The Thing, Big Trouble, Little China, Escape from New York. It's like a tri trilogy of amazing movies right there. Overboard. Yep. He's awesome. He was even in a, did you ever see that uh, Quentin Tarantino movie about the car where it's like, he's like a, it's a crazy, it's like, it's like a drive-in movie theater movie. And, uh, he, he's like a, he's like a crazy car driver. I don't know. What, what's the name? Oh God. I can't remember now. It was well, a we're double feature Welcome with planet terror. And, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was, it was a car movie. It was like one of those seventies car movies. But it was Quentin Tarantino wrote it. It was good. Tango and Polo, Cash. Polo? What's that? Tango and Cash. Oh yeah, Tango and Cash. Yeah. Do you pick a Hello Polo? Asked, did you pick up the Shining Force games from PAX? Mm -hmm. I have not. I'm not sure what that is. Play with Polo. So hey, peeps. Or Dunkball made it, man. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, love saying that. Or donkey, or balls. donkey balls. Yep, I had to say it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the chat, Lord Donkey Balls. Dude, I'm getting some of my laser disc games now on my uh, on my arcade. Getting two of okay. my favorites. Uh, I'm getting. Uh, I just got a Time Gal and Ninja Hayate. Two uh, two very rare laser disc arcade games. Jason wants. Uh... They live. You well, can't that find that. A, that would be a good. Uh, that would be a good pinball M table property. That yeah. has a lot of nostalgia. Roddy, Roddy Piper. Yeah, that's true. Kurt Russell was on Gilligan's Island. He was a kid, right? I kind of remember him being on there, but I can't remember the. I can kind of picture it, and I can't picture it him being on there. He was in a lot of things when he was. Wasn't he in uh, Disney's uh, club? Can you imagine too? if they had a they live mode, like when you hit them, when you hit a certain bumper, like they changed to like you know you know you can see them as zombies, you see them as like skeletons kind of people, aliens, yeah, aliens, yeah. Like skeleton people. yeah. Well, they look like skulls, kind of. I thought they kind of look like, like the Attack from Mars. Kind of, yeah. It would be cool, like if the pinball table had like where you like it would kick it on and off as you played, That'd be where cool. like like putting on the glasses. Remember in the movie, he puts on the glasses, and then he could see them for what they really are. Yeah, that'd be cool. that would be cool. That would be cool. That'd be a good theme table. You could do yeah, a lot. Yeah, it with would that. be. It would be pretty awesome. And, and he has some. He has some good uh, lines in there too. You know, like from that movie. <clears throat> they could throw out some of those sound bites. Oh yeah, yeah. Who wasn't it? Was it uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper? Yeah. He was the main character. Yep. Yeah. That was good. That was a John Carpenter movie, wasn't it? Like, was it? Uh, like The Thing and Escape from New York. I think so. Kurt Russell was in the computer that wore tennis shoes. Yeah, he was in um, 
He did Disney a lot of Disney Club. stuff. He did a lot of Disney stuff. Well, wasn't he? Didn't he get a start in uh, the Disney Club or whatever it's called? Yeah, I think so. The Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, I think that's where he got his start. Um, or at least he was on there. I know that. He hasn't did anything in a long time. For probably Russell, doesn't have to do it? anything. <laughs> he probably the Tim McClough. Well, he, he probably really doesn't have to do anything. Well, hell, none of those guys. A lot of those guys don't have to. Like, I mean, those are Tom Cruise, man. Bangers. Tom Cruise didn't have to really probably do nothing after uh, Top Gun if he didn't want to. <laughs> All those guys, man, made millions. Kurt Russell does a great Santa Claus. He was in that. He was in one of those Santa Claus uh, movies. I forget what, what his was called. <clears throat> What's his name? It has that commercial. Uh, John Travolta has that one commercial where he's uh, Santa Claus. You've seen it. They had like the. I've seen it. They had the, the Saturday Night Fever song playing, oh, okay. and they actually show uh, the girl he was dancing with. I think mm. um, he shows up in her store as uh, Santa Claus. Kind of neat. I know you've seen it because they, they were playing a lot there for a while. I forget what the commercial was for now, though. And Conigo says, "Tell Cubert to stop killing himself." He just Get keeps that on jumping over off there. the screen. He just keeps jumping off the screen. He's like, "Get out of here, snake!" Ooh. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to show you uh, the um, boot up screen for Attack from Mars. Yeah, I yeah. Got a, yeah I got we, got clip. I got a clip. we got sidetracked. We got sidetracked. You got a clip of it? Let's check it out. Yeah. yeah that game sent me. I a haven't seen it yet. Over it. I asked that game for a, a copy, and they said, "Sure." I'm like, ah. Nice. Oh, awesome. You got a clip from that games. Nice. <laughs> Maureen Fitz, he says the only thing he's doing is go to Han. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yep. Probably ready? true. Yeah, let's do it. I know they they were a couple there for a while. Yeah. Go, man. Oh, look. Are you, that's a cow. What? Wow, that looks awesome. That's pretty cool. Let's I guess it again, it was pretty quick. I mean, that's a boot up. It's just when it's booting up. Yeah, let's check it out yeah. one more time. I want to see it 19, again. 19 seconds. Let's see it again. Play it again. Play it again, Sam. That game, Zen Williams. That poor cow. It's getting yeah. beamed up for experimentation. Yeah. That is awesome. You get that classic artwork. The alien with the girl. Pretty cool. Yeah, I guess originally uh, that game's had the girl on there instead of the cow, but Zen mm. Studios wanted uh, the cow instead. So mm. they, stuck the, they stuck the cow in there instead of the lady. That is cool. That is cool. I kind of like the cow better than a girl though did you ever hear the story of the of the woman on the back loss of attack from mars she was like she sure. was like a secretary or something at uh at williams yeah yeah and they were just like uh we need you to do, can you shoot a can you shoot a uh some pictures for us and that's what they did they had her do the cover like that's that's how they captured it she's actually that's, awesome. that's awesome i didn't know it's that pretty that's pretty crazy cool. i didn't know it either i just found out about it i was watching something about attack from mars and uh, that's what they said. It was just like it was in some of the work there. It's in California. But, that is pretty cool. Now she's immortalized up. on pinball black back glasses around the world. Yep. So kind of cool. Racist. That, that was it? Yeah, it's a boot-up screen. What's up, it's, comrade? 19 seconds long. But that's cool. I mean, we already got a boot up screen, so it would have been cool. Yeah, to get ours, like the boot up screen was from the get go. I don't think there was ever a time that I didn't see the boot up screen. Mm -mm. But I guess we were supposed to get a second one, but. Yeah, I think they were, they were talking about maybe doing like a theme, but I don't know if that's going to. I think that's been canceled. Yeah. As, as far as having cool. an actual theme to the to the table. It was. I guess was, that would have affected what the menus and stuff. See, that's what I was wondering. Like this Attack from Mars, is it going to have like a theme to the. Um, you know, and like the UI and all that. Mm -hmm. The interface. Cool. I don't know if that's what they're doing with that or not. Ours was scrapped because of uh, rights. Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's so connected to the movie, you know, and there's so many actors and stuff. Yeah. It's probably complicated. I can't imagine, you know, the licensing and stuff they have to do. 
to get these titles. I know. It would have been cool to get one. Snoopy's coming. I wish we could pick one of these other ones. It would be kind of cool just to switch. It would be cool if it would give us an option to pick, like, since we can't get an Adams Family one, if we could pick one of the other ones. But um, it's not the end of the world if we can't team up Bosky, is it? No. I mean, not that big of a deal, but. I mean, we we already got the boot-up screen anyways. Yeah, we already got got our boot-up screen. It would have just been kind of cool to get, like, a theme, um, like, in the UI settings and stuff. Cool, but yeah, it's no big deal. Cool to see what Snoopy's looks like. Should be coming here soon. Yeah, as you see, there's not much to it, so I don't think there's gonna be. Yeah, Ray's kind of with me. It Hold would up. be really cool if we could pick our own, as far as if they have themes down the road. You know, it'd be cool if they would like charge a dollar or something. In yeah, the, I would. I would pick a buck or two for a theme, as long as it wasn't too expensive. I mean, if it was yeah, too it'd cheap. Be- Maybe you could switch it out just to have them as options, you know? Yeah, it'd be cool to, you know, yeah. have, especially if they had a UI setting where it's a little different. It'd be, it'd yeah. be cool to switch it back. It could be fun, too, because you could switch it. Like, if they're doing, yeah. a, like, if there's a tournament on one of the tables or on one of the particular um, thing, you know, you could switch a theme to it for maybe exactly. that week. That might be kind of fun. Yeah, it would be fun to be able to switch it out in that. You know? Like Ray said, just sell it to us. We'll buy it. I know yeah. I would. I'm just yeah, I would probably buy it, too, honestly. It'd be, it would be cool to be able to switch it's back and just forth. As long as it's not crazy, you know, it can't be. It can't be like too expensive, you know, to do no. just like a theme. Well, especially since they're not even looking to make money off it, you know, make like a buck or two. Yeah, <clears> yeah. <throat> I'd pay cool. like. I'd, how much would you pay for a, a, just a, a different theme, like a couple of bucks, well, it, three bucks, if, four bucks? Yeah. Um, well, if it was a boot up and like a UI um, view was different, couple of bucks. Yeah. Uh, I'd pay you know two or three bucks. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, UI skins would be a nice touch. Yep, I think so. Yeah, well, that I, is true. Now that that's something they should look at. I Game have dust covers. I have, I I uh, gave my two cents on that. That games, um, for sure. Back when I got my um, Stern one, I told him, I said, "Hey, Lyra. you should do a themed um, dust covers to the, you know, the cabinet." Art. To the 4K cabinets, yeah. Have an Adams family, have an attack from Mars, a Snoopy. Hell, I might yeah. buy Snoopy. <laughs> or even, make- yeah, or even just like if they even had just like a general one that said at games or something, you know? Yeah. How, how hard could that be to do? I mean, that, that's a pretty easy ask. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they would make tons of money. I mean, I, I guarantee people, a lot I, of people. You, you know, I always got to dust mine off. Like, I get up to it and I'm like, look, there's dust on it, you know, and I got to gotta dust it off before I play. I think it's just because it's flat, and you you see the dust on the glass. I'm so OCD, Team McCloskey. I'm so OCD when I look at it. You know, if I see any speck of dust, I gotta gotta get it off there. Not that it affects my gameplay, Team McCloskey. Ray's always trying to get me to show uh, the Elvira Stern mm-hmm. dust cover. Yeah, because I looked. I even told At Games when I told them about it. I said, "Hey, you really need to do dust cover. You need to do it like Stern." I said, "No, you can't find dust covers anywhere the out size. there, yeah. except for Stern." And I mean, I, I think they'd make a killing off of it. The other thing that'd be really cool, and I don't know if they'll ever do this. I might just have to one day order, um, have it custom made. But Invisiglass, glass that would fit yeah. the uh, pinball would be really cool. It would be really cool. Um, you know, I would probably buy that, but I might buy that anyway from the, the company that makes it. I think they can cut it to any size you want. So uh, there might be something I might do, but I think Invisiglass would be a huge upgrade because basically you know, it's a screen shooting up at glass. You know what I mean? So reflections right. are more of an issue, um, especially yeah. since I film it a lot. The main trick is you got to get above it and shoot straight down. That's yes. how it looks good. You got to be above it, like so. That's why I have that octopus-looking thing by my uh, pinball table. Yeah, I want to get. You know, I got lazy a couple times and didn't put my camera up, up uh, above. It's hard. You got to get way people above. say people say something. They retire. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, can't you put that up above? us? like, well, Dude, film, it, film, filming pinball like with cameras is is hard. I mean, like, you know, that's where Zen like is easier if it's OTG because you can just it's all it's all just like a, a video out you know, yep. But yep. filming real pinball is a little trickier. Like that one I did. Uh, Need a lot of cameras. I just did. You know, I filmed that last update firmware. You know, I wasn't really showing you know the screen. I was just showing you that you know the yeah install you know the download and all that. And somebody still said something even on that one. That's like. Yeah. 
So it doesn't need to be a clear image for just showing you the download screen. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, well, it's always got to complain. But yeah, dust cover is a, it would be a great accessory. And a floor mat. Somebody said a floor mat, too. You could have a matching floor mat with the dust covers. But if they didn't want to do both, they should definitely do dust covers. I think that, yeah, the dust cover would be, like, the first priority. Um, and then the floor mat would be another cool thing to have. Come over and ask. Are you guys seeing yourself playing? It's probably OTG different for us. I mean, it's probably it's probably more stock for you and more OTG for me, to be yeah. honest. Like, for me, like, since I unlocked the Pandora's box that is OTG, I've been playing that a lot. Um, but I also like the stock tables, but to be honest with you, I've been playing a lot more OTG on my particular machine. But how about you, Team McCloskey? I, I get tired of hooking my computer up to it, so. It is. <laughs> it is. And that's really the rub. You got to, like, I got to use, like, to have it perform to where I'm happy with it, I got to use my best computer. Um, but it is what it is. It, the OTG does work well. Oh, yeah, it does. And it's a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, like... Basically, I mean, like, there's no waiting. You can play the entire uh, Pinball FX3, Pinball M, and Pinball FX libraries right now, today, on the At Games 4KP Pinball. Like, all of it, you can play through that mode. And it plays good. So, you know. Ray asks, what is, what is audio mode on the Gottlieb table settings? You did a video on that, didn't you? Yeah. Will you set it all up? Yep. Yeah, I didn't do a video on it. I can't remember offhand. It's on his channel. It's uh, Arcade Talk. He has a video. Yeah, it's not too far back. Mm -mm. Anybody in check? Uh, anybody get Star Trek yet? Is Star Trek shipping yet? I did see something. Star Trek from out? Uh, I did have this. I'm not, I know they start. I know people have gotten. Uh, the links for the payment that's, that's so interesting comrade uh 2k7 says uh does the lack of ssf and fx and fx3 not too much of a buzzkill i knew gloomhaven works and that is interesting because I, I really did find that gloomhaven table had really good sound that must be why it must be the ssf is fully utilized oh that really gloomhaven table sounds absolutely incredible i was when i was playing through all the tables i saw wagner playing that i was like man i gotta check this one out and man i'll be if it doesn't have the best sound out of all the tables on the uh fx platform so that one's using... and the sound is off the hook so it's using uh, an ssf kit it, it must, must be. be yeah that's what comrade uh, said in the chat so that might be why it sounds so much better Awesome. Hey, welcome, welcome to the chat, Steps. Hey, what's up, Steps, Steps? Gaming? Here in the chat, I'll be on her show tomorrow night. Should be fun. Uh, Brooklyn's not doing uh, Friday night. I think so. Or, I think so. Uh, Steps does it earlier, right? Yeah, time, yeah, she's going uh, earlier. Time uh, you streaming tomorrow, Steps? <clears throat> SSF and analog nudging works in OTG and VPX. Mm -hmm. analog nudging but here it is this is from five days ago get ready to embark on a galaxy adventure because your legend 4k star trek pinball machine is cleared for launch for those who secured their wave one pre-order from november 23rd to december 31st exclusive payment links are beaming to your inbox today your mission check your email complete purchase payment embraced for epic galactic adventure i think somebody got the back box of Star Trek today or yesterday, but not the box, not the big one. Well, somebody Wait. got somebody got the back box already. I think so. That's yeah, cool. they just showed it in the box. I wasn't one hundred percent sure if it was or not, but because this is from five days ago when they sent out the, the payment links, so people in California would probably start seeing um, these. Does look nice, man. Star Trek. I to close that mic. So those those will be the next tables they release, huh? Most and likely. those are coming. Those are coming soon too, right? We get yeah. we get one next week. Uh, pull up that pull out that calendar. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. 
out of here somewhere. There it is. And uh, the important thing is that that part up at the top where it said schedules for reference only and subject to changes. That part, that part is important. Yeah. So this is just a rough idea. I know. And they always say that. Coming. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't release on that day. Schedule is reference only. For not, reference. Not 100% coming out. It says not it right 100% up there. coming out. It says it right at the top. Right no. at the top it says it. I mean, it, people can't read. I mean, it's just. Uh, I don't read, T. McCloskey. I don't read. I'm sorry. And some other people don't read either. I just look at the pictures. Like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, look, Attack from Mars is releasing on the 11th. <laughs> then you come over here and but, look. It's like, new and then, then I had to read it, see if I, I don't, if I don't read it, I think, oh, it's releasing today. But no, that's the boot up screen that released today. See, if I would have took the time to read it, I would know that. Yeah, it's not but CD. you just see the logo and you don't think, you don't think to read, you know, that's, that's, you know. See, even that, even there, I'll zoom it in. Some people that, that zoom, can't zoom, find. zoom. We got the best zoom in the business here on Arcade Talk. Some zoom people in. want to make big deals out of content things. is for reference only, subject to changes. People, man, they, they get really upset too. Uh, it's yeah, it's no, late. you get upset over something that you if you just fucking, you just read. It's you know, it says reference only, subject to change. Yeah, yeah here's some the people. Deal. Are, here's the deal, Tina Claus. Here's how I feel about it. Like we look at other uh, companies. Oh, Arcade went up. <clears throat> that uh, basically don't tell you anything. They keep their customers completely in the dark yeah. as much as it's possible. I mean, possible. Literally no communication at all to the customers. Nobody I mean, cares. At least um, at games has given us a rough idea and you know, getting close to all these dates. I mean, I think they're doing a little better. I mean, I mean, ideally really would we want it to be perfect? Yeah, but I mean, here's the deal for me. I just want it to be good. If it's a day or two late, just make sure it's good, you know? Having it be good is more important than having it come out on a certain time for a lot of this stuff. Because once it's out, it's out. Once you let the genie out the bottle, it's out. You know, T. McCloskey? And, uh, yep. And Steps uh, stream starts 7 p.m. tomorrow. Literally. And uh, they did a good job refining those Gottlieb tables. I, yeah. don't know if you, I don't know if you updated yours yet, but, I mean, I, I saw the changes from... You know, as they worked on them, they did a good job. So uh, I'll have to say too, I'll have to say too, that games is better right now in communication than even New Wave Toys. Um, New Wave Toys, people are getting upset with them because it's like, where's our Zoar? Where's our Zoar? Zotar. It's like yeah. they, they're not saying anything, and that's supposed to been out quarter four of last year. You know, and it, the other thing that they won't say either is like the little second monitor for Dragon's Lair. Oh, that's kind of they've been telling us for a year that's coming out, but all of a sudden they went dark on that so yeah. i know people are getting mad on new wave toys right now with their lack of communication yeah. i don't know why they're doing pretty good with their communication but all of a sudden with uh, that zotar and uh second monitor for dragon's layer that you know um shadow even showed the secondary monitor back in yeah. like last last year sometime showing it on a dragon's layer but they, he said coming soon it, but yeah so he said coming soon and i'm like okay we'll see in the next couple months but that's been i think five months ago when he showed us, yeah. so I don't know what's going on with uh, New Wave Toys, but I give credit to that games. They're uh, they're giving it, they're, they're doing a really good job right now with the communication. I can't complain. Yeah. I can't yeah. complain about it. I mean, they're giving that's the thing. They're giving you all this information, but it's also information that some people will just use this to complain constantly. Yeah, even though it says yeah. reference yeah, only, that's, that's right at the top. Change, yeah. You know, it's like this one here. With the you know the pinball packs, we all want them, but it's like we're down here. Content is for reference only, subject to change. It's in all their content. It's like it, it makes you look like a moron. It's like oh, okay. I, I Incognito I, is saying some stuff. I'm just curious because I don't know that much about it. But can can the accelerometer work um, in pinball effects? I know it works. I've heard it works in the VPX, but can it work in pinball effects? The accelerometer. I'm curious. Doesn't work on yours? No, TG. I thought they they made they fixed something that something works. I don't. There. Maybe I don't have it set yet. Did Does they say they fixed pinball them? effects? I know pinball pinball uh, VPX is more. There's more settings you can adjust. And the and arcade control panel works now in OTG. Yeah. Do you uh, uh, put it on yet? No. No. <laughs> I have to goofy foot. I have to. I feel like New Wave Toys is dissing people that bought the Zotar one. 
and in the secondary little mini monitor. Got to me. I gotta gotta give them complaints. Oh, okay. So he's tested. So it works in the VPX. Well, that's good to know. So in the VPX, it definitely works. There's a lot of good tables in there for people that are putting their own tables on there. Well, that's uh, good. Yeah. Well, I do know, uh, Ray, that like Cherry Bounds Christmas is coming out. I know Gearbox uh, Pinball is coming out, which is going to have three tables in it. And is there an Attack for Mars is coming out? It's not on here. Um, is there another one? Oh, and uh, South Park's supposed to be coming out soon, too. I mean, I know they haven't said anything on that in a while. I do have my handy, handy thing from that game. Okay. Yeah, Turbo Bounce Christmas is supposed to come out. Okay, we're getting the next generations. That's coming out, what, end of the month, I think. Uh, the three star tracks are coming out next week. This is the tentative date. Yeah. So next 17th, we're supposed to get the, the three pack of Star Trek. The day after Pinball Net. Yep. Well, the uh, server is going to get is going to get a uh, real test with those two coming out right back to back. Uh, be interesting, huh? You know, it'll be interesting. It's going to be a lot of people trying to download their the uh, hundred and forty tables. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of downloads, Team McCluskey. It is. Uh, yeah, Gearbox is going to have what's going to have Borderlands. Do you think you're going to have to download every individual table, or do you think they'll have a download all selection? When they launch pinball net oh yeah I don't why know. wouldn't you download them all like i mean are we gonna have to go in each table and select it individually to download 140 times how, how did the arcade net work arcade net everything i mean with the uh, other one everything was in packs you know you bought like a pack and there were so many tables in it that's how arcade net was um that's how that's how it was before that's when I purchased them um, on my HD. Everything It'd was be in packs. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. But some of the pack sizes were different too, um, yeah. than than the 4K. But I'm just curious how they're gonna how they're gonna implement people installing 140 pinball tables on their on their machine when everyone's. I mean, let's face it, probably everyone's gonna want to do it Damn. because Damn. doesn't everyone get Pinball Net for a month for free? Uh, if you're in the United States, you get three months for free. Three months. Three months. Three months. All the tables. You yep, tell three me, months. You tell me who's going to, T. McCloskey, who's going to pass on that? That's a fan of pinball. I know, and you get that for free. So, I mean, for so free. everybody that has a 4K has access to pinball net. Yeah, so that's that's going to be that's going to be crazy. Yep. Yeah, I don't know how that's how they're going to handle that. And I bought the pinball net. So how does that work? Does my uh, does my subscription start after the three months? Yes, it's supposed that to be. Yeah. Works? Yeah, that's how it works. Like if I enter the code, I still get the three months, or will it just do the code? It's supposed to the way they add said it before, together, like cumulative. It's supposed to just add it together, the three months. Yeah, and because they said it would, uh, if you bought it, it would um, start after the, the the three months. So we really so get start it for a year. So just, three yeah, it just adds on to it, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's that's what they said before. So I don't know if that so changed you your not, code. But... You have you have fifteen months instead of the. Okay. Yep. So, not on this screen. There's these four right here that are coming out. Um, Attack from Mars is coming out. That's five. Then we got Charlie Brown Christmas coming out. Then we got the Gearbox coming out, which is Borderlands, Brothers of Arms, and Homeworld. And then Godzilla's on there. South Park is supposed to be coming out as well. So, there are more tables not mentioned yet. They're supposed to be coming out. It was on this list I got from yeah pack games Boy, not to know. mention i mean they also have a uh, natural history pack two in the works huh yeah and that's mean, for they, hd and 4K. that's for everybody's gonna be able to get that hd and 4k p uh customers are gonna be able to have a be able to get that one yep but, yeah where where do we see that at i had that I, i'm excited for natural history part two it looks like some of those tales could be pretty interesting from the from what their themes are yeah, didn't I show that? We've shown it before. Just where? I keep all this stuff. I'm sorry, this wasn't on our thing to talk about. But I mean, I I am excited for Natural History Pack too, actually, because those tables run so perfectly smooth. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, 
more of that for sure. Yeah, I don't know if they had a date on that. They had they the did. leak. Yeah, Jason said they had the leak showing a pinball M tables as well. Yep. Well, we're eventually getting everything. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. I had it somewhere. I know we showed it one more. Yeah. Things that I don't know. I just don't remember if it had a date or not. Yeah. You know, right now, I think for, for Zen, the main priority needs to be getting all those tables running smoother, you know? Yep. Yeah, I would agree. Because even Attack from Mars, if you looked at... Um, they sent out a um, release notes here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lag yeah. continues to be in progress, according to Jason. Yeah. Well, it's up so you can see it. So this is their uh, release notes. They showed this on April 8th. And the known, uh, here's the known issues being worked on. There is some noticeable flipper lag and attack from Mars that is being worked on for future update improve slight flipper audio echo is heard from the back box speakers kind of like it's almost like what we hear on there yeah but i don't people. get his number three because in the original attack from mars it was just a button there was no plunger like if you look at an attack from that, mars pinball go. machine there that's is the actually problem. no plunger on that machine and you have the problem for launching that's probably the problem then yeah but never used a plunger yeah you know, physical plunger functionality is currently in development and will be released in a future patch. Okay, so there's no plunger functionality right now, I guess. So, yeah. uh, we'll be released in a future patch. Launching the ball, I mean, they can you just have it when you pull the plunger, it launches the ball. But I mean, see, look, the look at the machine end. didn't use a plunger. Look what you have to do right now. Launching the ball can be utilized by pressing the start button. That's how it would be on the real machine. You press yeah. the button to launch the ball on attack from Mars. I mean, I think that's kind of cool. I, I, I kind of would leave it that way really yeah but. i mean that's what i do when i'm playing otg i pretty much do that for all the tables anyway i use the i use the button to launch it yeah so that makes sense that there's no functionality right now because it's something zen will have to actually create yeah, that's funny now this is this is a day one buy though as soon as this table drops this is one i gotta get i mean i oh, love yeah. attack from mars this is like this is like an insta buy almost you know so some people say an attack from ours might be in a sale at the end of the month. We'll yeah, see well, I'll definitely buy it either way. We've got the sale have. coming out. Um, it, Cause it's funny that they haven't mentioned attack from ours, but people are already, people already, seven, playing. Yeah. People people are already are playing. Yeah. People already playing attack from right Mars. now. Some people, lucky people, lucky people that got the attack from Mars. Uh, so where's ours? Tom Brad? Why can't we play it? They haven't released it yet. So what will will they release it on a twenty six? Imagine if imagine if they release it and we get the patch. So we'll we'll never even like we'll instantly get a better version of it. Maybe. Yeah. That would be cool. I'll be fine with that. Comrade asked, "Does VPX run smoother than FX versions?" I think you said yeah, right? They can for sure. Yeah. How about uh, Pinball M? Which one works I mean, better? If you, if you have a powerful enough computer, it doesn't. I mean, they're both doesn't really matter. If your computer is yeah, a beast, that's I mean, true. Yeah. If you got a really, really good computer, um, they're both going to run great. I mean, it's just uh, Pinball Effects from OTG is very power hungry, as far as uh, you know, your resources on your computer. It's pretty power hungry. Yeah, be, that's why, like kind of... I said, for me, like I actually like the FX3 tables a lot because just on the computer that I own, they run better. Yeah, because they they were made for older computers. Yeah, I mean, if I had if I had the latest greatest computer, I'm sure I would probably I, I still might say FX3 because I just like the way I like the way the DMDs are stretched, and I like the physics of the ball more. Um, but I think they're both really great. You know, I mean, either one's good, but if you have both. You know, you can pick and choose, right? Yep. Right. You know, there are tables I can play on FX3 that I can't even play in FX, like Fallout, um, the, uh, someone with a dragon, it's awesome. The, um, Oblivion or whatever, the, uh, Skyrim, I'm sorry, Skyrim. Skyrim. They got they got a bunch of tables. I I played Archer. I played in the tournament that Gregory's running right now. I played Archer on FX3. That's pretty cool. It's almost like a James Bond theme. It's a cartoon. 
Apparently there was a show. But it's a fun table. It's very uh, very uh, cartoony. But it has kind of a James Bond theme. It's very cool. Played Archer today. Yeah, i never seen that one before. I played, uh, played three tournaments. Three tournaments today. Uh, MCAP Space Stations tournament on Pinball um, FX. I played um, this one that we just started. The Thing, Arcade Talk. And I played Gregory's tournament. So lots of stuff to play. That's the thing, Team McCloskey. I mean, if you have all this stuff, I mean, it's fun to be able to play in tournaments against other people. Like to me, that's one of the that's one of the strengths of this platform, you know, because it's going to push you to learn the table and get better. You know, for me, it does. It pushes me to play. Yep. I yeah, guess we'll we... talk about Back to the Future after we talk. When we're done with that game's news, we'll probably move on to talking about the the totals on that where everyone ended up. Marine 50, I think you'd get the Marine one. You'd get all of them, Marine 50. Mm -hmm. Marine 50 would say it would be cool if they would do a military table of Marines, Army, Navy, Air Force. Yeah, that would wow. be cool. Heck, yeah, for pinball tables. He's like, can you guess which one I would get? <laughs> I'd say you'd get them all. I'd probably get them all if they're really neat. So tomorrow we get, what, the renovation packs for the HD comes out. Yes, Legend HD renovation game packs update. That's then, cool. on, then on twenty fifth you get a because there's two two packs that are coming out right so the second one some uh, get some great retro yeah. games in that pack I, I know uh, uh, Brooklyn Menace has uh, that on, a version of that on the Evercade he says it's great the renovation titles are must play um, I'm not real familiar with the, I mean, uh, renovation titles but um, he says they're great and I trust his opinion. Deal or no deal? I didn't even know that. Surprises. Mikey Un says, "Can't just look, can't just look nice. You gotta be able to play them, right? Play them, T." Yeah, only one I haven't played so far is the <clears throat> this week's. But we just started today. No deal or no deal, arcade edition tomorrow, huh? Did you watch that deal no deal island? I don't know. I don't know what I'm walking into, T. Klusky. You'll find out. It'll be fun, I'm sure. Anybody watch that uh, new show? Called, it's uh, Deal or No Deal Island. No, no, it's a new show. I've been, yeah, I've been stuck in Fallout World. Like literally, uh, that's all I want to watch. If I'm watching TV, I'm watching that until I've seen them all. It's kind of like a knockoff from. Did you ever watch the Deal or No Deal show? Yeah, was on? yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember that show. That show was fun. That's a show with all the briefcases, right? Yeah, the girls with the briefcases and banker yeah. and a banker. They have to call the banker. Yeah, so this is the same thing. It's like Survivor with deal or no deal. Okay. They stay on the island and all that, but they, they stay in luxury, though. Um, yeah. They got a bar for them and everything. <laughs> it, I watched the first episode. It, it, was, it wasn't bad. I'm like, it's kind of yeah. neat. It's kind of neat. Because it's like they, 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 the first time they had, um, they called it a mud spa. They dropped um, all the briefcases, all the briefcases no in the mud. Into the mud? And you had to go and try to get through Dude, the mud, awesome. and you were trying to get the highest one, right? That People were struggling awesome. in this mud. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Must have been oh. chaos, Team McCloskey. Oh, it was. But it was fun to watch, you know? Dude, the Fallout TV series is amazing. I mean, I hope it continues to be as good. I'm on the fourth one, and it hasn't dropped off. Like, yeah, it's really bread kept watching my it. attention. What's it on? I think there's not that many either. There might be either eight or ten. There's not that many. But they're really good quality, which is which is really important thing. Is that Netflix or Hulu? No, it's on. Everyone gets it. It's on Amazon Prime, dude. If you get Amazon uh, Prime, you got it. Well, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you don't got it. If you don't got Amazon Prime, what you waiting for? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, uh, there are there are nefarious ways. What's the month, sucker? Dude, I don't know. You know, I'm still getting mine for four ninety nine a month. <laughs> yeah, there's so many different channels. They each they each want to get you. You know, it's like you could have ten subscriptions. You could be. I mean, they get you, Team McCluskey. Oh, I know. I got the Disney subscription with the commercials. I got the, I got the low budget one. Yeah, that's what I got. Commercials. Too. You got that one too. It, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. <clears throat> 
But I, I just saw they actually added uh, Hulu to Disney Plus. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like there are a few shows that, that X Men '97 show I'm enjoying a lot too. There's a couple shows I'm watching now: Fallout, X Men '97. I'm not watching anything right now. No. I'm not doing nothing, man. I don't know what I did the whole week. I was outside the whole week. My I back like is it, killing me. I today. like it when they put just upload the whole upload the whole thing. I just want to binge oh, watch it. Yep. I hate it when they do it weekly. My back's of course, you can wait till it's over and then watch it. That's what I did with Andor. You can wait till it's over and then watch it, you know, but it's hard. See shows, they have a, the shows are they have so many good shows anymore. Yep. It's better than ever. I had to fertilize my lawn yesterday, man. It hurt my damn back. Your mic's getting low, I think. It's either my mic or my headphone. Bring your mic closer. I can barely hear you. What? Is it just my uh, stream yard's peeking out in the red. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's my headphones. Hold on. Let me adjust them. The wireless. Maybe they maybe they got out of sync. So. Nah, that's uh, Papa Brad's. That's Papa Brad's Cubert. That's my Cubert. He's jumping to his death. Come and just rewatch the Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, Ooh. that's a good series. Yeah, I did. I did watch that. It yeah. was really good. It was really good. It didn't. It didn't. The ending was kind of a rip off. I mean, like I felt like the, it didn't really end well, but uh, it was. It was a good show. It was a good show. What would you win on Rascals? I won like ten bucks. Would you? Wouldn't uh, Ray win? Would you win Ray? I think he. I think he won ten bucks. Nice. Amazon gift card. Nice, it's nice. The best thing to win, cash money. Cash money, yep. Yeah. yeah, it was very, very unsatisfying. I mean, the ending, uh, especially what they did with the main characters of the Game of Thrones. I felt like they were like, "We got to wrap this up," and they just wrote, they just wrote a very quick ending for the show. And I don't think it was the character arcs were not uh, f- satisfying for any. Of the, most of the characters or character arcs were very unsatisfying for people that have been watching the show for a long time. Especially uh, the what was her name? Daenerys, the Queen of Dragons, the girl with the dragons. Her her story was like just a train wreck to me. Hey, what's up, the Rexer Show? Welcome, welcome. I didn't hear any big news. There's big news today. I won kiss socks. <laughs> they gave out kiss socks. Makes sense. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Where he says the best, uh, but the first five seasons were one of the best in television. Yeah, I agree. I loved Game of Thrones. Um, you know, like I said, I think they were just like, oh, we got to wrap this up, write an ending, and it was like, it just was not, it was not, it was not fulfilling. You know, because you got so invested in the characters. Um, but some attack from Mars news. I don't know. Um, is there attack? Just there's a, there's a new. You want to show that video again? Yeah, we just uh, tied it with the boot up screen. That's only they have a boot up screen. It's not that big of a deal. It's just it's just like a little screen that when you turn it on, it plays like a little animation. Oops. Ray Dillatory yeah. felt like the Dragon Queen was a Mary Sue. <laughs> oh, we got sound. I like the sound. There goes the cow. Like, moo, moo, moo. There come the aliens. It's That's an attack. It. An attack from Mars. It's like South Park. Moo, 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 moo. By the way, you know who did a really good New Wave Toys review? The Rexer Show. Yeah, I saw he you. Did, uh, he just dropped a review on Berserk. It was very good. Very good. You could use that like as a model of how to do a uh, a, a, a uh, one of those tiny cab reviews. It was really well done. I uh, like he found some really obscure facts about Berserk. Even I, T. McCloskey, even I didn't know some of the facts he got. So I was I was like, not only was it, um, you know, if you were interested in the product, but if you're interested in the game Berserk, you got some little uh, pearls of wisdom. So there was a few things that I didn't even know, and from watching the Rexer Show's video. There were things I discovered, which is pretty cool. What did you discover? What did you discover? Well, one of the things I discovered that it was named after a book, like why they call it Berserk, was one of the things he did. Of course, he mentioned the infamous 
black joystick. Black uh, joystick, uh -oh. black joystick story. Yeah, we um, all knew that one. Know, he kind of made fun of it, you know, because if they say it on the internet, it must be true. Um, he said some things that that were really good facts that I already knew, but uh, it was really, really well done. Good job. I really enjoyed it. And he properly disclosed fast mode bullets. Yep. There's he talked about how there was ROM chips where they had fast and a faster mode of shooting. It's pretty good. It was really well done. And you know what I like too? Like he did a lot of show, not tell, you know, like there are people that just like do these reviews and they just talk about a team McCluskey. They don't actually show you what they're talking about. They're just telling you by speaking. He was like everything he was talking about. He had filmed it where it was like very like he's showing and you know, he's, he's showing and telling, which is better. That's how you do a review. It was really good. So expect to see plenty that are just like his. That's a good model. That's good to know. My model wasn't the greatest. And it was entertaining. That, you know, that's amazing. I, you know, to me, I mean, when I watch a video, I just want to be entertained first and foremost. People will copy Rexford's reviews. Hey, imitation is a form of flattery, though. If they're that's imitating right. you, you're doing something right. That's right. I mean, that, you need to, people need to accept that, you know. If someone's yeah. imitating you, that probably means what you're doing is good. So, like, you know, that's not a, necessarily a bad thing. No, it's a good thing, really. It kind of irks you sometimes, though, but... Mm -hmm. Like, damn, that's my idea, but then you guys think about it, say, hey, I did so, such a great job, people want to do it, too. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you look at it. It's all about perspective, isn't it? Yep. I, I, I guess I really didn't do the review on Berserk, huh? I just you didn't even, did we just talked about it on the show. You didn't even do a formal review. I just did unboxing on the show. Yeah. Well, well, you didn't you didn't get sent yours for review either. You just bought yours. You just supported the company. Like we support the company, and then they never send us anything. That's kind of how it works. That's all right. That's all right though. Just keep making good stuff. That's all that matters. Damn it. Ah. My and even if you do get it for free, um, you still need to tell you be honest. You know, and just. When it comes to making a review, you know, you just got to say it the way it is. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why we don't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of hard on my reviews sometimes. But... Yeah, but hey, I would be hey, too. I remember when I did my at games review and I was talking about the lag on the Adams family. I was like, well, they're not going to love this, but you know, you got to tell it the way it is. You know, it's just, that's your job. Like, if you're going to do a review, you got to say it the way it is. Oh, I yeah. am. Some people don't like it, but it's like, hey, it's my opinion. That's what I think is good, and I think this is what's bad. That's right. You got that's your opinion, you know. Yeah, you know? like my dragon's layer back there, freaking marquee sucks. I hate that it's so skinny. You know, I hate the audio video issue. I'll rip on that the rest of my life. About that. Yeah. Because they, they, you know, the the prototype they showed us, man, was like perfect, man, and then they fucking changed it all around, and it's like you fuckers. They bastards. jacked it. They jacked it all up. And the worst part, Team McCloskey. They never fixed. They never fixed the delay in the main game, Dragon's Lair. All you have to do is drop it on a USB stick, plug I mean, it in the USB back there. But no, you can't do that. If they would just did Wi-Fi like they did all the other uh, machines around the time Dragon's Lair came out, they would put the Wi-Fi in there. You could have just downloaded it from the Wi-Fi. Dude, Team McCluskey, they saved. They saved. A, they saved a whole dollar. They saved a whole dollar not doing that. Yeah, I know. Oh shit, I didn't realize how skinny the marquee was. Yeah, look how skinny it is back there. Here to Tron. That dragon's layer's on a diet, Team McCluskey. She's losing weight. Don't get me started on that damn thing again. And then when I did my You can't even look at yours because like basically you've you've gutted the thing. I mean you have a waterfall deck on it. You put I mean, you put so much work into it. Your scoreboard is different. I mean, like everything on your cabinet is you kind of customized at this point, you know? Got the square uh, speaker grills on there. You got this, uh, all of it. The square speaker grills. Your Tron's the same way. It's that's not a stock Tron anymore. But thanks to Hobby Hands, gave me that scoreboard, new scoreboard layout. He's not in here tonight, but Hobby Hands is the one that gave me that scoreboard new layout. Yeah, I like the way uh, Rex was talking about the Dragon's Lair. That was great when all the one-up shells were like Dragon's Lair is perfect, and I was like, nope. 
I mean, the audio, I immediately saw the audio was messed up immediately. I did too. Yeah, it wasn't that. I didn't even have to, I didn't have to go any further. I mean, I could see it. Yeah, if you go back to the time, I, I did not give Dragon Slayer a perfect review. I even was complaining so about it's it before funny. it came out. So then what, then what What? do they do? They went to the iArcade and then they filmed it through StreamYards. They filmed Dragon Slayer on the iArcade through StreamYards. And Team McCloskey, we all know that StreamYards has inherent lag in the video. Like something that's really fast, like a video game. Yeah. It's going to mess up that image quality. That's what it does. But then they acted like it was It was not off. It was the opposite. It was accurate. But it's it doesn't matter at this point. Right. It's a still good looking cabin. I agree, but. If you would have saw, if you go back to my review before it came out, I was complaining about the design changes. If you go back, you'll see the, the original design that they were going to give us. I, I ripped on it, saying this is what it was going to look like, and now this, this is what it's going to fucking look like. And I was so pissed in that video, man. I guess what it is for me, like you, I love the game. You know, to me, this was like this was kind of like a holy grail for me. Like this was one that you don't want to mess up. You know. <clears throat> Yep. And now, at first, you know, the concept, man, was great. It looked exactly like the real. It, it, and they were going to give me the option to have the red trim on the T molding. Well, they took yeah, that the red T molding trim. Yeah, they were going to give you the option you could do black or red, and they took that away. So I had, you know, put my own. And the thing is, you basically customize yours and you fix almost most of the things that you thought could be better. But the only thing you can't fix at this point is the actual Dragon Slayer game itself. Or the marquee, because nobody or the marquee, because nobody makes a, a marquee that's appropriately sized. And I don't know why, because so ergonomic box, it looks correct. The marquee box they used, you mm. can make that uh, bigger. So if somebody would make a larger marquee, you could probably stick it inside that box already. Because I I, I mm. tried to do it myself, and uh, it didn't work out. It was out. interesting. There was some talk about the artwork being grainy, but the real the real arcade's kind of grainy. If you look yeah. at the marquee, I mean, yeah, I, you I, did I, that video I filmed. On it. I did a video where I filmed a real Dragon's Lair that was original. And um, it was it was very close to that. There you go. Uh, this, uh, that link that Jason just dropped is for uh, the Dragon's Lair scoreboard. You can buy that uh, Etsy from Hobby Hands. So there you go. So Hobby Hands does have up on uh, Etsy now where you can get the Dragon's Lair scoreboard. And all it is is a piece of plexiglass that you uh, you. Just, Pull it, just take out the screws from those um, speakers and then that. screw it on and it's boom. It's like an easy, easy mod. Yeah, because that plexiglass for the scoreboard uh, layout, it's just, it's just screwed on there with the speaker grills. Yeah. Hey, there's Hobby Haynes. There he is. There, there he go. is. We just put a link up. Uh, if you're yeah, interested in the Dragon's Lair scoreboard mod, like that T. McCloskey did on his Dragon's Lair, go check out Hobby Haynes. Oh, he is in there. We got Tack from Mars and I got Space Invaders in our background, Pop Brad. They're attacking from Mars. <laughs> Attack from Mars. Yeah, you got the Space Invaders back there. <laughs> the Horror Hats Rexer Show. You got your pre order in for the Golden Tea Deluxe? Oh, guess who's making a. Uh... Darn, I. I, I... I know some people probably buy it. What did I do with that? I didn't want to talk about RK One Up, but I do like uh, Mod One Up. Mod One Up is doing um, waterfall control deck for that new Golden Tea coming out. For the Golden Tea, yeah. Here it is. Here, here it is. Well, that looks pop, nice. Yeah, it looks good. With the waterfall control deck there. Mm -hmm. A picture of it. Yeah, Mod One Up. If you guys don't know Mod One Up, they do a really good job on these. Golden Golden Tea is a tricky animal. I mean, you have to have enough space that you can really hit that trackball without hitting the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like they, uh, they, uh, they had there are some people that ported it to iArcade. But the problem is like you need a lot of space for that trackball, or you're going to be hitting that screen with your hand. All the time. All my day screen long. on my iArcade is glass. Imagine me putting my hand through a glass screen. That would not be fun. No. So, uh, but yeah, you need to have that space uh, around that around that trackball. You watch people that can play Golden Tee. I mean, there's definitely an art to it, you know. And you you hit it with some speed, you know. Yep. Yeah. Some of those shots, I mean, you got to really like when you're driving and stuff. 
yeah, they go for it. I mean, it's like I guarantee on that small little arcade, one of you probably hitting that screen all day long. I would, I would say. Yeah, that's why it's so popular to be on a pedestal. I mean, it, it makes sense that a pedestal yeah. version yes. would yeah. really make sense on that one game because of the way it's played, you know. But hey, yep. Mad Dog, welcome to the show. My Glad cocks in here. here. Mike made it. Sorry, I'm late. Good to I'm see you, Mike. The Islanders big win. Yeah, I haven't looked and see what the Penguins have done lately. Last time I heard that the Penguins were in the playoff race again, they were out of it. But I thought I saw something that Pittsburgh Penguins were getting close. I know the season's almost done for the NHL, but yeah, that that is it's a that's a no buy for me. RK one up, <laughs> Golden T. No thanks. What's going to be wrong with it, Pop? Bro? What's going to be wrong with it? There'll be yeah. something wrong with it. One that's too small. I guarantee you're hitting the screen every time you do the trackball. Unless yeah. you're putting. If you're putting, you're just going. Gonna... If you're putting, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to drive. Boom! <laughs> hitting that screen all day. If long. you get that control deck, that waterfall one, you might be a little bit better off. But I don't know. I don't know. But it's still the same size. To me, it's not even the right golden tee, though. Like, if you're going to play golden tee, you want to play the modern ones. They're better, you know? Yeah, sports they, games, they don't sports have the games. Set. A lot of times, the I know, the, I know they don't have the chipset, but I'm saying like, Come on. you go, you go play Golden Tee at an arcade, then you play the Golden Tee that they're bringing home. It's like two different things. I mean, this is like, and not not that I'm saying that I don't appreciate retro things because I certainly do, but I mean, you're definitely going with a retro version of Golden Tee, not the not something that's like what the current arcades have, or barcades when you go out. Yep. Hobby Hand says, I gave permission 10% to Etsy and 30% to the government. Damn. Give me 40% away, Hobby Hand. Team McCloskey, no, no golden tea hate here. Remember when we remember when we blew up Arcade Talk, blew up a golden tea, and you lost five subscribers? Do you yeah. remember that stream? You're yeah. like, what happened? Yeah. What happened the next day? You lost five subscribers because we blew up golden tea. Remember that? <laughs> no golden tea hate. Fault. No golden tea hate going on here. It wasn't my fault. The freaking chat was the one that made me blow it up. They, they didn't pick it. The chat decided that we blow By the it way, up. if you're not subscribed, I mean, one of these years, I would like this channel to be at 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to our K-Talk, please drop a subscription. It doesn't cost you anything. It makes a big difference to the content creators. I already, I already got my hours. I'm thinking I'm going to get to that 1,000. He's got to get to that 1,000. I think I'm at 9k yeah. hours. And you can make, you know, very little money, but some money at least. Yeah. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, now we got stereo. We got Berserk coming out of you and Cuber coming out of me. <laughs> yep. That, that's cool. Brings you back to the arcade. Like I always turn it on, um, because I just like the sounds, you know. Hey, thanks for hanging in. Gifting five. Woo! Welcome, all guys. Right, all right. Five new members. Yes, and Breezy. Yeah. All right. Hey, Pete, trading cards got one. Ruben Games. All right, all right. The Knicks got one. Welcome, Nick's. Nick's got one. Wow. Awesome. Thanks, uh, Hobby Hands, for that. Shabam. Get the five arcade. Star Wars Shabam. Shabam. Intruders have been fight like a robot. Fight like a robot, T. McCloskey. I'm not a robot, so I don't want to fight with one. Mm -hmm. Robots, they can fight like that, I mean, because they don't, they don't die. They can yeah. just get the robot. Sick. The robots walk into each other and kill each other. They literally will. They will literally kill each other by walking into each other. That's, that's a little louder than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's pretty good. The speakers on those new wave toys are good. Yeah, they are. I do like the replicates. I wish I had more of them. I do like the replicates. I think they're very cool. They're very cool, but they can add up after a while, man. And then where are you gonna put yeah. them? That's the thing, you know. That's the thing. I don't know if I would. I don't know. I, I might get one or two more. Depends what they come out with. I'm more interested in Dude, one. Dude, I would. I would have to get like you know. 
I don't think are the berserks available to buy. I don't know if they're even available to buy yet for like to just to buy one. Yeah, I think they are. Are they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I would love to have a 720. It's what's come out with 20 is a great game. It needs to have a little control that turns though, like the little the joystick control on a 720 is very unique. Yeah. Maybe that's why it will never be made though, you know. Well, um, Shayla said to come up with it, they'd have to come up with its own unique controller. You know, it had a controller that you made a circle. It was a joystick, but you turn it almost like a wheel. You know, I, got, I just got 720 on the arcade, and it uses Glenn's, uh, Glenn's spinner. It's pretty fun, but still, they need, like, I miss those controls like an original arcade had or similar to that. It's a very unique control scheme for, goal, for 720. They're going to make it eventually. Um, it's going to have a removable boombox on there. That would be cool. Well, here you go. Here, Zerk's up there for sale. It's two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. They they have, they uh, they normally used to be one hundred sixty nine or one hundred seventy. Yeah. Uh, they jacked them up. Well, everything's more expensive anymore. It's inflation, got, you know. I got it for one hundred twenty eight bucks. I know. Twenty eight. You got it when the going was good. Yep. Because we got that twenty percent off. Because when they first came out, they were one hundred sixty nine ninety nine, and you got the twenty percent discount, so it dropped it down to like one hundred twenty eight ninety nine, one hundred twenty nine. Mm. So that, yeah, that was a really good deal. Now, did you ever take your circuit board out? Yeah, I took it out on the stream. Remember? Yeah, that's pretty cool that it does that. Does it have a little light in there? Yeah. When you open up that, is there a little light in there? I did all this on the stream, Pub Brand. Did you? Yeah. Was it last Saturday? There, Let's check, it out. Light Let's in check there. it out. Oh, there's a light in there. Look at that. So there's some there's LEDs the, in there. There's a PCB Look board. Look at those batteries. That's pretty I know. Neat. That's what I said. The detail is really, it was really great. I didn't think it was going to be that detailed. It's very detailed. It's pretty cool. I should have freaking went full screen, right? Yeah, you should have went full screen so you're not so little. Now you can full screen. Can we make you full screen? How do I yeah. make you full screen here? Can, there you go. Can we make you bigger? No. A little bit That's big. not it. How do I get you big? You had me big there for a little bit. One sec. There it is. So look at the details on that, guys. Look at it. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That's pretty neat. And then there's the light inside. Dude, that, that, that cabinet's haunted. It's still running without the circuit board in there. I know. There must be a ghost in that arcade. I rigged it, man. I rigged it. That is pretty neat. Even has the um, slide where the you see where the board slides in there. Yeah, like a track, real just like the yeah. real, like a real one would probably have. Yeah, that's true. Like each generation gets a little better. Biggie D said they're always improving, and that's true. Yeah. I mean, that's that that's what I like to see, you know. Yeah, yeah, because now they have a coin. I, the coin door actually works now. You can see it up in there. Mm -hmm. PCB board up in there. And they do have a Tari you can stick on here in the corner door if you want it. Or yeah. you can put your own uh, sticker on there if you wanted to. I would rather yeah. have a stern one. I'm sure there are going to be people that are going to be making little stern stickers that fit there. Yeah, I haven't looked yet to see if anybody on Etsy or anything has made them yet. I'm but sure. Can... There's a Berserk marquee. That marquee, it looks a little washed out on camera. In yeah, real life, is it a little washed out or is it crisp? No, it's crisp. It could be just because you're shooting a camera at it. Sometimes the keys don't. Plus, I, plus I got the light. Yeah, going. you got a ring light. Yeah. I don't know if I turn it off. Let's see if it looks better when we turn it off. Power off. Yeah. Uh, you can see the little. You can see the colors there. Yeah, it's not super black from the picture. The blacks aren't super black. Or what are they like in person? Uh, it's pretty black. It's pretty black. Okay. Yeah, but it's black in here. You know, it's dark in the room. But let's see when I turn it back on. <clears throat> I like it too because it's an oversized. See, it looked pretty black here. Yeah, yeah. Black is the hardest thing to do for a marquee. Yeah. It's a, it, a lot of times it ends up looking washed out. Yeah. See, it does look a little washed out. It looks a little brown when it's turned on. Uh, it's, it's a little black. bit, a little bit, a little See bit out of looks, true black. Yeah. Does it look true black? That's how it looks in real life. You can see the T bone is black, but yeah. the black and the bezel isn't. So, yeah, there is a little bit of wash out there. 
And it looks sometimes, like that. Sometimes they look like that, but like uh, looks good though. Still like it. A lot of those, a lot of those bezels were were done on glass. T. McCloskey back at that time, they're actually glass. Did you yeah. know that? They're actually, I mean, they're very breakable, you know. And they're, you know, you can you can mess them up pretty easily. But um, yeah. when I go to some of the arcade events, they sell them. That's how I know they're made out of glass. Some were plexiglass, some were glass. Yeah, I remember touching some that were glass. The glass ones look really good. Hey, what's up, Retro Arcade Trooper? What's up, what's up? What's to stream? Hobby Hand says, okay, that thin Dragon Slayer marquee is now bugging me. Might have to do something about it. If you do something about it, uh, Hobby Hands, you can send it over my way, man. You yeah. can send it over my way. I'll put it on mine. You've been waiting for a long time for someone to redo that marquee. I know. Look how skinny it is. Look at Tron paired to that it's one, man. It's all jacked up, man. Yeah. And what, what, what would have saved them money on that marquee making it smaller? Because originally designed, they had it fat, like the real one. McCloskey, they saved 25 cents on every one they made. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that they were able to save 25 cents? I mean, how, how much is a but, piece you of know, glass? Uh, 5,000? Think how much money that is. It's like, yeah, but you're stuck with it. You're stuck, you're stuck with the product that could have had just a little bit more done to it to make it great, you know? Yeah, I mentioned that marquee, man, because every time I look at it, it bugs me. You you can replace all the joysticks and buttons, and you will if you play the games a lot, or you, if you want good controls, and yeah, you I will. I did on my dragon player. And you will if you're if you're serious about having good controls. But and I was forced to um, do the Tron spinner. Yeah, your spinner broke. broke. Like not that. I was even playing it, man. Dude. It was turned off. I turned it you on. Still and got broke. the original joystick. So, till I come over and break it for you, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to break that uh Tron in for you there. Show you how yeah. that works. Show you how the light cycles work. Break. Oh, I took it off. It breaks off of my hand. Break is a key word. It's already broken in. So it's broken in. It's broken in already, man. It don't need broke in there anymore. It's good. I'm not easy on it though. I mean, I do snap it around yeah, there. But you snap it around? I don't snap it like most people, I guess. But yeah. That is right, Hobby Hands. Grainy graphics on our keys. How it looked originally. Yeah, that is correct. Yep, that is correct. Pop Brad showed it on his uh, yeah, way back. Yeah. yeah. On your uh, videos from way back. And I saw them at different arcade expos I went to. They're all like that. Yeah, you've seen one at that. Was that Houston, Houston Arcade? Eight, Houston Arcade Expo had one that, it, that I don't think they had ever done anything to it. I mean, literally, it's like it was like it's. I mean, it, it, it was battle worn, but it was authentic. It was like all original. You could tell. And the secondary monitor on there. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was cool. They had it right when you walked in too. So yeah, I mean, they knew. They knew. They knew. Like. If you're into retro, check this out. Here's a, here's a first thing you see. Here's a like straight, almost like a straight off the floor dragon's lair. You know, right when you walk in, it was cool. New wave, there it is, guys. Dirty Donnie. You can get his uh, carpet for thirty bucks. Thirty dollar carpet. Regular one like I have is thirteen dollars now. I bought it for ten. It was ten bucks when I bought it. But it has like the um, dirty dining head kind of has like the berserk mm -hmm. bezel border around it. It's almost the same one they used here under a poster. Which I have a poster in the back there. Or a printer poster. There's a frame. See, there, there's the one other Brooklyn Menace. Welcome, Brent Menace. There's their boom box. One of these uh, boom boxes will be what they'll be putting on uh, 720. I like that boom box. Uh, what is that? Is that a poster or is that a, what is that? A mouse pad? Yeah, what is poster. that? It's one of those. Poster. Yeah, it's about the uh, yeah, poster. a small one. Okay. Like postcard yeah, size. Oh, Brad. <laughs> size like, of a postcard. A $15 postcard? I wish it would make that full size, man. Like the one I have in my background back there. Yeah, that is a cool graphic. And these things what is, really What does the up. cassette tape do? 
Yes. Yeah, what is that? Mini oh, it's just a prop. It's a prop. It doesn't do so, nothing about the rain. Here it is. Prop. There's the there's that Zotar that's supposed to come out last uh last, Zoltar. last year. Supposed to come out quarter four. We're in Zoltar had second quarter in twenty twenty four. Ticket dispensing right? issues. Man, dude, we're we're already in the second quarter of twenty twenty four, man. Thirty now. Mid April, Bob Brad. Where's it? Where's it? Where's the year going? Didn't they say they were going to release like twenty cabinets? I don't think that's happened to Pop Brad. I don't think it's happening. We're, we're we're not off to a very fast roll here. They haven't released one yet. Zerk was uh, you know, released last year. Really. What's happening, Rachel Dello? Good to see you. Still working on that pinball. Black Four KC says it's just a prop, but it looks like the real thing. So it's adorable. Yeah, I, I got some real ones in my uh, closet. I was gonna mm. I bought a uh, boombox. I was gonna I was gonna bring it on. Uh, our stream i got like all these cassette tapes from the 80s i was gonna say will this one work or will it not work it oh wow signal yeah. signal will eventually do on our on the show here we can uh, put a poll up and say will this work or not because a lot of those cassette tapes i have in my closet right now i haven't played in a long long time yeah so some of them might, might work some of them might not yeah, work some aren't gonna work when these days we'll get to that pop right one of these days it might be kind of fun to do that I've always kept them in a cool, dark place, so hopefully most of them work. Speaking of retro stuff, Team McCloskey. What do you mean, Zemi? They're, they're not gone. It says coming soon. The Adams Family video cassette. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Guess what I got coming Monday? What do you got coming, Team McCloskey? My custom. VHS, baby. VHS. Nice. It's coming back. Is not it in really. there? I just thought it was cool because I have the Adams Family pinball. I bought the, I was at a, went to a toy thing and I bought the video cassette. They had the video cassette. I was like, that's pretty cool. It's just a cool collectible to have. Is the cassette tape in there? It's in there. It's a, check oh. this out. This is it's even better. Watch this. Watch this. Well, what's the metal part look like? Watch this, dude. Watch this. This makes it even better. Yeah, it's, it's a blockbuster. Retro. It's got the blockbuster sticker on it. Nice. Somebody stole it from Blockbusters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you steal that pop bread? The, you know, some somebody paid somebody paid uh you know hundred dollars for this VHS. Oh man, Ooh. that messed up my camera. My camera's yeah, freaking it out. It's, it's auto refocus, refocus, refocus now. My Sony camera. Anyway, that's so funny. Cool. Blockbuster on there. That's cool though. Yeah, yeah. You can good. make it more valuable. Please be kind. Rewind. Please, yeah, be kind. We whine. Mm -hmm. Show is sponsored by Sugar Bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody said they saw the riddle from that game. Remember, uh, I don't know, did you see Pop Brad? No, the, the riddles are out. The first riddle, riddle me this. What's the first riddle? I don't know. Let's see if you can find it. Uh, so I thought Jason or somebody said it was uh, out. Oh, <gasps> look what I see, Pop Brad. What is it? I see uh I see a Star Trek back box. Well, let's show that mug. Look at this. Look at that, man. It's like half a pinball machine. That's There's the one side. Good. Yeah. It's Captain Kirk. So this is I think is on the left side. So I think it, we're looking at it backwards here. Mm -hmm. I think that, that one's on that image. Yeah, on that's the a left. back panel there. That's the back panel that comes off. Yeah, not the screen. Nope. So there you go. That's the first picture. So somebody has Star Trek. I got my Star Trek. It could be long now. Okay, back last and topper today. Every condition, they really packed it well. Hoping for the play field tomorrow. I had to wait three more days to get my play field. They're my dreams. So that's the first image we've seen that somebody actually has. Star Trek, at least part of the Star Trek. Uh -huh. <laughs> Carlos says Jason can crack the riddle. He probably can. Mm. Or Carl O. Carl O knows a lot about that games. Look at this. Shabam. Got Star Trek. Somebody has their uh, play field because there it is. Number 30 for Star Number Trek. 30. Someone has a Star Trek. Number 30. Mike Yoon yeah. said he worked with uh, John Cho, whose face is on the Star Trek pinball. That's pretty cool. Well, that's awesome, man. That is awesome. We are starting to see so uh, these two people we know actually got the Star Trek. 
They're they're coming out, Pop Raider. Coming out. Mm -hmm. There's another Mar attack from Mars. Attack from Mars. Attack from Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody even left the comment in on Facebook. They said, "Hey, I got my uh, Star Trek." And said, or I uh, got my um, Attack from Mars, even though it says Attack from Mars twice on the back box. <laughs> it like, hey, does, he's, he's, it does. It totally does. Yes. When you're playing it, it's like says it twice. There it is. Attack from Mars, Attack from Mars. Yes, I just uh, I just started laughing when I read that. They're like, hey, it, here's my... The only reason, the only reason, bring, it's so close to perfect. Like the, like the graphics and stuff are so close to perfect. That's the one thing that, that I think they could have improved. Yeah. Yeah, like we said, it's uh, so close to perfect with the graphics. I mean, like honestly, it could have been the one that it was all black. Yeah, black I, should, I mean, would not have been a bad idea, but hey, you can always mod it if you bought it. Yeah, or you can just be happy with the way it came. Yeah, because I mean, if you're playing another table like a, you know, cat in a hat, you know, at least you still see your attack from Mars. Yeah, ours is the Adams family too, but I don't think the. Yeah, Adam's Family is cool because the back glass image doesn't say Adam's it's Family. Different. It. It's different. Yeah, I like yeah, it. it doesn't I say like it. it. I really do like it. It's really grown on me too. I really do. I do really do like my artwork on my Adam's. Oh family. yeah, I'm but yeah, like real the, happy with it. The monitor back there in the back glass doesn't say Adam's Family, so it's appropriate to have the Adam's Family on the marquee area. You know, I do a ton of short videos showing different tables running on it, and it doesn't really, the artwork never gets old to me. I, I just really yeah. like it. I like it. That's the only reason I haven't switched the controls out, too. I, I, I'm so used to it now. I really like it. And surprisingly, the interface oh, works well with the, uh, you know, when they redid the interface, it used to be like on the HD, I felt like you had to have the uh, the control panel to, to really, because uh, the interface but with the, them redoing the interface on the 4K P, I think it, you can get away with the, that little joystick if you're just playing pinball on it. Not arcade games, obviously, but... So here's the riddle, guys. Look, look, they got two uh, pinball machines. Is that Attack from Mars? Attack from Mars? <laughs> can you solve the riddle, Pinball Wizards? Flipper, ball. What is that third picture? Uh, plunger. plunger. And then you got Attack from Mars, Attack from Mars. <laughs> attack from Mars, Attack from Mars. You got two pinball machines, hmm. and then this is a, a bumper, and this is a bumper. So you got your you know, flipper bumper, and then you got your round bumpers. Or what do you call those round ones? Interesting. Has anyone solved the brittle? Has anyone solved it yet? Flipper ball, flip ball, plunger, ball plunger. Yeah, yeah. Any guesses, guys? Any yeah, guesses in the chat? So you can, I can take a picture of this. Take a picture of it. I can make it like, like a zoom. Like a zoom pop, Brad. Hmm. Okay, so you guys can see it a little better. There you go. Can you see that's a plunger now? Yeah, yeah, I can see it's a plunger. So there's, there's the riddle, guys. Hmm. That's cheating, Caro. Caro says, "Ask Chat PGPT." Oh, cheat, chat suckers. GPT. Can it decipher pictures? I don't what know. The, how would you, I don't even know. I never do that. I don't know how. I never used it. Interesting. Two machines. Oh, is that that's black hole too, right? Uh, I don't know. It could be that game's logo, huh? With the swirl. Yeah. Black hole coming? All right, we're coming. <laughs> what was this riddle supposed to be for? I don't know. Is it a new table coming? I can't remember. It says pinball wizards, and then has those pictures. Well, it just says, uh, "Can you solve the riddle, pinball oh, wizards?" Can you solve the riddle, pinball wizards? Okay, so this is one of three. Hmm. Okay, fun alert. We're mixing things up with a playful challenge. Over the next couple of days, keep your eyes peeled for three cryptic graphic riddles. We'll be dropping 
Mikey, Crack you have solved it. The answer is Back to the Future. Crack these codes to reveal our surprise announcement. Are you in? Surprise back to the future. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. How'd you get back to the future out of that? Mikey got it. Ray DeLatorre said it's confirmed. Back to the future. How the hell do you get back to the future out of that? I mean, you don't see it. Flipper, ball, plunger, pinball table, pinball table. Yeah? How do you get back to the future out of that? <laughs> what is that little triangle piece called? Is that another bumper that it's above the flippers? Interesting. Races maybe back to back pinball machines. Well, we're in how you get future out of there. Well, I saw flipper and ball, so I thought maybe Facebook. FB. What starts with FB? Uh, it's definitely it's definitely there's definitely something there's definitely it's definitely got to there's got to be a way to crack it yeah i don't know you get back how you get back to the future how that well obviously it's back to the future but what what do you mean obviously uh, you know damn uh, obviously uh, <laughs> ain't no obvious in this at all sucker what's the plunger for it's gonna pull you back doc, doc pull Brown. you back to the future yeah Flip, kicker, flip, the flip or the thing shot. Flip, flip back. Wandy says if it's Back to the Future, he's in. He says he's in if it's Back to the Future. Really? Yeah. That'd be exciting though, because that means we get a new uh, new table. Yeah, that table's fantastic. Man, that was our joy. tournament. What Let's a finish. joy! That was a joy to play that one. That was an absolute joy. You're welcome. I told you, I'm the one that told you to turn the flames on, man. Or trail, know, ball trails. The ball trails. It's the only table you turn ball trails on because you get yep. the flames. It's amazing. So it's cool. Great. Great. <laughs> flipper delay. I don't think that's what it means. I don't think their, their contest is flipper delay. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Jesus, says, I don't see Back to the Future nor Pinbot. I don't see nothing, man. Oh, I, I see Back to the Future. man. Flip, flip ball, plunger, plunger. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a ball in the end of that plunger too. Yeah, there is a ball in the end of the plunger. Flip ball to ball. I don't know. Bumper. And then there's oh. two. The, the why is there two pinball machines? Like two pinball machines right next to each other. That's why they were saying you know back. Back to back pinball machines. Uh, That's why somebody said back to back. Back to back pinball machines means back to, you know, at least for the back, for the back to the future. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Means delay flipper. <laughs> well, the zone doesn't have any of these symbols. Nope. No, they're all pinball symbols. I mean, flipper, ball, plunger with ball on the end. <laughs> Flip. Or plunge the ball back. And then two back to back That's pinball machines. That's interesting, you know, and it's funny when, when they tell us what it means, we'll be like, Oh, I see it, you know. And then it'll be like whenever they tell you the puzzle, it's like, Oh, why couldn't I think of that? Which one says That's rubber report? Rubber baby bu buggy bumpers. New idea. <laughs> rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if it was if it was Back to the Future, I would see where you get the back because you have back to back machines. Yeah, but you know, flipper and ball. I mean, how you get? It's the... almost like you're going back in time, though. It's so getting more primitive. Because it's like all old, uh, like old pinball machines, old bumpers. Yeah. Marine Fifty says it means. How the hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> there you go. We've solved it. That's the answer. Uh, I thought maybe I thought maybe somebody in here would get it. 
This yeah. Mikey Young's right in the Back to the Future, but I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to be funny if it's Back to the Future. Mikey Young's going to be a legend. If it's Back to the Future, he's going to have predicted it first. You're aware of that, right? Yep. He'll be like, oh, oh everybody else, yeah. he, will have, he will have predicted it. What do people? Uh, let's see. That was my thing on there. Thing like all this shit open again. Okay. What's the guesses in here? Let's see. Me, uh, how much in here? 12, you got some guesses in there? Let's, let's, let's see what they came up with in the Facebook group. I see 13 likes. I don't see anything in there. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. I know what it means. It means attack from Mars. Woo! We're going to attack from Mars table. Woo! Attack from Mars. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. Tech for Mars. We're, that's, that's the surprise announcement they're going to have. Well, we know, we know they got Attack from Mars because people are playing it right now. We can't pop, Brad. We can't get it. We can't get it yet, but other people are playing it. Yep. And they haven't announced it yet either. When it's, uh, the pack's going to be available. Maybe this is the surprise announcement, Bob Brad. It could be. It could be. That's why they got two pinball machines. Attack from Mars, Tech from Mars. You know... What I'm really hoping is that, you know, with the uh, when the pinball net goes live, I'm hoping that we get like a unified leaderboard that's that's very accurate. You know, Team McCloskey, if you don't turn on that, that, yeah, they said that's what they were going to work on. But, uh, you know, having having it work, the, the leaderboard system work is important if you're doing tournaments. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could find. There it is. Are there any comments in there? Yeah, uh, they have the. That game's turned off. Commenting for this post. Oh, somebody probably got it. Somebody probably got it. Ah, oh, damn it! Probably somebody figured it out. Team McCloskey. It's probably someone figured it out. Yeah, because you see right here. Oh boy! Oh boy! That game's no turned cheating. off. Commenting. No cheating. No swiping swiper. You got 13 uh, likes, but we can't uh, we can't read the comments anymore, Pop Brad. No, no, you would have been on it. Got two more uh, codes coming out too. What do they? When do they say the next couple weeks? We're gonna be doing that. Can't remember now. Jason can read all the comments. <clears throat> can you, Jason? Oh, uh, over the next couple of days, so they're probably gonna drop he one. He said in. he already had the thread open. Oh, wait a minute. We got a, we, 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 we got a way to look at them, Team McCloskey. Jason See, well, can I, look at them. How do you get to look at all them? the comments? I, he must have opened it before they closed it or something. No, he said he already had it open. Well, that's interesting. And it's not open now. Do, do you think someone solved it? Who knows? Someone said Jaws. How do you get Jaws out of that? So I'm going to say the following. Flipper, flipper ball launching two tables, bumper, fin. In other words, jaw, flipper fin ball. Flipper equals coming. fish. Bumper equals fin out of water. Go back to it. Flipper fish. Bumper. Fin. Flip. Bumper, thin. But what all about all this all this shit? <laughs> yeah. Flipper ball launching, two tables, Intruder bumper, fin. In other words, jaws pinballs coming. Flipper ball launching. Jaws flipper for fish. Flipper ball launching. Okay, so you got the flipper ball, Intruder and then the ball's Intruder launching. Intruder. Flipper ball and then balls launching. I get that ball launching. What about if it's launching two tables? Two table, two. Oh, Team McCloskey, Team McCloskey. Universal. Flip, Team McCloskey, the flipper lag is fixed. We have new <laughs> ball animations for the Gottlieb tables. The plunger works right. We're launching two tables. We're upgrading all the, all the pop bumpers. I don't know what the last thing could be. And Jaws is coming. There we go. I solved it. <laughs> Two tables. So the be, uh, we fixed the flipper lag. That's the first thing. The first clue. We got it. We fixed the flipper lag. We have new yeah. ball animations. Nice. Our plunger, plunger, lag. Our plunger lag is fixed. 
but releasing two new tables. And I don't you'll know the last two could you'd be. You'd be pumped. You'd be pumped for them. <laughs> you double pumped. <laughs> Dude, dude, if, if, if they fix the flipper lag, if that's what the flipper means, how happy would you? I would be so happy. I would be, like, ecstatic. <clears throat> so you know, they do start with the flipper, though. They start with the flipper. Which is a flip, yeah, flipper, like, you know, they have uh -huh. flippers. Like dolphins have flippers. Jaws have what about, flippers. what about, wait a minute. What about if for the Gottlieb table, they give us the option to turn the G on and off, the ball animation? Yeah, that'd be nice. That would be fixing the ball, right? Yep. And the plunger, they already have done some fixing on it because it works better than it used to. What if they're getting that more dialed in and then two tables, two table announcements? Back to the future in uh, JAWS. There's three in that pack, though. The universal pack is what? E.T., JAWS, and Back to the Future? Two table releases. JAWS and Back to the Future. There you go. Could be. They're in the same pack, right? Yeah, I think it's Jaws Back to the Future and E.T. if I remember, but that's that's the way it's sold currently. Uh, said somebody even thought the last two last two meant safe cracker. I don't know how you get safe cracker out of that. The wheel you turn Because it could be safe. the dial. Oh, yeah. It could be the dial, like, you know, you turn the dial on a safe. Instead I thought of it was like those bumpers, you know, some mm -hmm. of the old bumpers on the old tables actually looked like that, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were white and had like a little star pattern on it. That's actually not a part of a pinball. That's a nacho on the end. <laughs> Doritos? Nacho, Dorito? That's a Dorito. That's a Dorito at the end. Is that spicy Doritos? Or I think ranch? I'm just hungry. What? Yeah. That's a Doritos. I don't know that Safe Cracker is going to be released down the line. That I, is know, I can play it right now. I mean, yeah. I'm going to be honest. It's not a favorite. I can play it right now. It's not a favorite of mine. It's all right. Thor KC says flipper ball, plunger, table, table, light corner. Mm. The launch table might be the most accurate so far, according to Jason. Jason said uh, safe cracker was on the teaser play card last fall. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, definitely uh, they have it. They have it. And pinball effects. <laughs> Marine 50. I got it means this is just for reference. It can be changed at any time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what it means. I don't mean that's what it means. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. Just says uh, launch two tables. I think is the most accurate so far. Yeah, Mike Young saying you got to have invented flippers in 1947. Yeah, bumpers in 1944. Be, be interesting. What if it's something like Natural History Part Two? What if they have that in their back pocket and they just haven't told anyone that it's finished? Because it is two packs, pack two and pack three, is, right? Is that is that is that going to be? Did they ever announce an official d date for Natural History Part Two? Uh, I thought they at least told us what I quarter. They did, but I can't remember. Can't find it though. I have That's it somewhere. Two packs. That's two packs, isn't it? It's split yeah, into two pack packs. Two and pack three, yeah. Pack two yeah. and pack three. Dude, those would be insta buys for me. Yeah, I, I get that, Jason. Too. Yeah, I don't think this puzzle is telling us. Telling anyone a Pacific table yet? Maybe Puzzle mm. Two. It's got to be something to it, though. Well, I, I think at least the two tables might mean two, two, um, pack. You know, two tables coming. You know, they got to be loving it. Like the people that know the answer already, watching us do all the speculation and I know. all this stuff. Yeah. They're just sitting back. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like <laughs> this is a good puzzle. This is not so easy. It's tech from Mars, man. It's tech from Mars somehow. <laughs> South Park and tech from Mars, Papa Brad. That's your two tables coming. South Park and tech from Mars. They're calling it Team McCloskey. <laughs> we know those two are coming soon. Tech from Mars and uh, South Park. I mean, tech from Mars is kind of here, but you can't buy the pinball pack yet. He says they show uh, some packs at the Chicago show. I don't think they in Chicago they show anything different that we got on our machines. Great marketing. Yep. That gets gets people talking about that games, right? Yeah, it's good marketing. <clears throat> Nothing else. Let's 
flip back, plunge back to two <laughs> tables. <laughs> Plunge into two new tables. Today, look, plunge into two new tables. You got the plunger, which is plunge. Two uh, machines for two tables. Plunge into two tables. Plunge into two tables. <laughs> so they showed them on the poster. Remember that. I mean, it's good marketing for this rebel. Yep. Plunge into two new tables. I just had something pop up in my Discord that Jason posted, but I don't know where he posted it. Got a random notification. Flip the ball out. Plunge into two new tables. <laughs> Not bad, right? Yeah. I mean, Flip the ball out, Pop Brandon. Flip the ball out. Punch into two new tables. Coming soon. Yeah. Could be. Jason uh, translated all the graphic teasers back in the fall. <clears throat> I don't know. So I'm stumped. So where are we going next, Team McCloskey? I think we, I think we, I think I think we've uh, we've, we've ran this we've ran this into the ground. <laughs> What? I don't think yeah. we're gonna get any further, unless someone no. in the chat figures it out. We got to, we're gonna talk about the uh, Back to the Future tournament. Oh yeah, I was getting ready we to say. We haven't talked about that. Sign up. Oh, I have yeah. my Carlo game of the week that I sent you too. Huh. Are we saving that for the next show? No, we can, we can do that. So I have nothing else. I, we talked about that. We talked about that. We got to talk about the – let's talk about the Back to the Future tournament for the people that played because we had a record number of players this time. Let's see. So. Thanks for playing, everyone that played. We had a, It was a great tournament. Very exciting. Yeah, so we, yeah, we talked about everything I got except for uh, your uh, – our old game of the week. Get that off it's there. an announcement for an announcement. Talked about the known issues for Attack from Mars. You can hear it, Pop Brad. You can hear it. Well, let's let's do it. Let's do uh, the tournament results. We haven't we haven't announced the tournament results oh. for Back to the Future. You're going to Pinball in. I was ahead of myself, Pop Brad. I was ahead of myself. You're ahead of yourself. We're skipping the. We just did a whole tournament. We got to at least announce the winners. Oops. Ah, what am I doing? Okay. Get that going. <laughs> it means we're going to take over half of your stream as you try to figure it out. Yep. John D. Uh, Wandy. Wandy. Not John D. Not John D. Ooh, almost, almost said John D. Wandy said it's an announcement of an announcement. <laughs> Put out the bad signal. Put up the bat signal. We need we need a we need a super sleuth. We need we need the world's greatest detective on the case. Where's Batman when you need him? I know. He <laughs> Where's he at, Pop Bad? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's Batman at when you need him? Alert, He's slacking. Alert. He's slacking. He's too busy chasing Catwoman. <laughs> Now that's the music that we should hear for the Back to the Future table. You heard it, man. You heard it. I heard it. I heard the music. I know that music. It means it means I'm playing some uh, some pinball effects. Loading up. It's loading up. It takes it a while to load. It's a lot going on there when it loads up. Yep. Look at my carpet down there. I got. And you got the creature you carpet. Black Lagoon on there. Yeah, man, your home, your home yeah, is looking look. good. Look at that there. Some stuff in there. It looks nice. I don't think I've done anything to mine. Your your home space looks good. No, Ray said that. That sound just scared the shit out of my cat. Sorry, Ray. About that. I 
tournament worked at many better. How do you find the past tournaments? I uh, I go to tables own, then played all, then status. Uh, was it status? Or yeah, status finished. Finished. Okay. Finished. Cool. I thought they had one for. Well, there it is, right there. Those are them. I ended up in. I ended up in nineteenth place, bump rat. Nineteenth place. You're top twenty. Congratulations. We had a big pool of people. That's not bad. Damn. Oh, Whoa, fifty-seven. McCloskey, fifty-seven uh, players in our pinball tournament. Thanks, everybody. Dude. Thanks so much. Thank for you. Playing. Thank Damn. you. That's an incredible turnout. Almost 60, man. That is that is pulling in a lot of people in the community. 57 wow. players. 57 players in the Arcade Talk Pinball Tournament. Team McCloskey. Crazy. These YouTube videos are working. That's We got a lot of players. Yeah, I had a lot of views on this one. Um, yeah. On my channel. You get a lot of views on your... No, but I don't really care about views. Well, that means people are watching to see if they can get yeah. in. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got views. I mean... It means people were, you know, looking to see, if, you know, to get yeah, into it. I mean, it. I, I got like, I got in the hundreds, a hundred something. But the thing is, the thing is I do two channels to too. So there's views on both channels for those, yep. for those videos. It's awesome. So we're pulling yeah, in from so two different we're channels. A wide, we're getting a wide footprint. We're Actually three. A footprint. Yeah, so three I do channels because Arcade, that's your channel too. So we have three channels promoting it. Oh, well, you probably that's have two on your are you doing your pop by lab and gaming? Yeah, I do. I promoted it on both of them. I made different videos. Uh, yeah. My video that's on uh, Papa Brad Live has actually got the film. Like the one for the thing is really cool. You need to check it out later. I, I souped it up some. So we got really four channels promoting it. Your two yeah. and my two. So it's good. Yeah. Fifty-seven. That's awesome. I mean, we're pulling from. And and, and we're, we're we're talking about it. We did talk about it too on the Friday Night Arcade Show. So there's a little bit of cross promotion there on this, but that's good. Fifty-seven players is good. That's a good turnout. Oh, yeah, that's a good turnout, Team McCloskey. The fourth one. This is our fourth. I remember, one. We thought we'd be lucky if we got ten people. Remember when we started? We were like, man, if we could get ten, if we could get ten, we'd be doing good. Yeah. Mikey Yoon says fifty-seven people is better turnout than the infamous Ashley One Up giveaway. <laughs> that's a cool way of looking at it. Marine 15. You know, we're just we're just some average Joes running pinball tournaments. Yep. You know? I mean, Speaking we have right passion, on. we love it, but I mean, that's about it. The thing is, too, we're playing. We're playing. I don't know if you've been playing. I played I played hard on this one. Yeah, I just didn't I ran out of time, man. I didn't do too much stuff outside. I played it last uh, I think last Thursday, and that was it. Yeah. My score held somewhat held up. Somewhat. You hell, you had a good score. At first, I never, I thought I wasn't even going to be able to catch you, Team McCloskey. Then I found out the secret of Back to the Future. How many uh, uh, multi balls did you need to get? The most I ever got was five. I'll tell you how I got my score when we get to my score. I'll tell you exactly how the strategy I use, and it works every time. It works really it. well. I will, I will, I will reveal the secret tricks to get a high score in this game. Well, you didn't want to reveal those tricks uh, when the. the the game was going on. I didn't come up with them. Nick's came up with the strategy, <laughs> but he shared it with me, and it, it, I'll be, it works perfectly. It, it's the way you, it's the way you high score this table. You know, every table you got to learn how to play it where you can get the best score. Yep, that's the secret to all these tables. You gotta learn, gotta learn, learn the rules. I just didn't get to play it enough. To... Not only that, you gotta learn like how to score big. You know. That's why if you're starting out on a table, at least on his ends, it's not a bad idea to keep the numbers popping up because you know mm -hmm. what what gives you the highest scores. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you hit this, you honestly, know, I mean, these tables, the rule sets are so deep. You can spend a week on each one, oh, yeah. and you're still not going to learn everything about the table because um, there's so much there's so much going on. Like this know? one here had what six different modes yeah. to it. You know, I mean, it's it's a lot to learn. I just didn't get a chance to really learn it. Fortunately, 
Got my new lawnmower. That's what happened, Papa Brad. I got my new lawnmower. I was outside. The new, the, the new lawnmower was calling your name. Well, that and the fucking weeds that were freaking tall as could be. Damn, weeds grow fast down here, you man. Cut down, man. Oh, my God. They, they, I won these um, pricker bushes, man. It was like freaking... I swore it was only grown for like a week. It was like look at that. Look at that. I see Marine Fifty at fifty. How cool is that? Marine Fifty is at fifty. Well, but he's disappointed because he's like, I was forty six at nine p.m. last night. How did I drop to fifty? We have more people come in and play. That's how. Well, it ended at midnight though. Yeah. Last night, in that minute. So man, nine p.m. Man, there was only three hours last left. Last minute. Yeah. yeah. Last time I checked, we were just over fifty. So we got about seven. Seven more, six or seven more players after that yeah. time. Yeah, I think it ended last game. I think it landed like twelve oh three uh, p.m. Pacific, or actually twelve oh three a.m. last Wyo night. Wyo says this is the first table he's ever played that he didn't feel like he got any better as time went on. I know how it feels. I felt like that on Mandalorian. I couldn't get sometimes, any better. Sometimes you just have the the magic, and sometimes you don't too. It means yeah. you have to come back to it. All right, so there it is. There's 57. Can't, I don't know how to say his name. Raggedy man. There's a single 2,000 pounds. That person's been in our almost every single yeah, one of our Sora, tournaments so far. 0097. 9 million. JC Drago. D, D Rico. Rico. Bruno, 15477. 52, we got Saberwolf. 51, we got Kadash. And coming in at 50. With 50 in the name is Marine 50. Glad you're playing. <laughs> I think it's going to be cool. How cool is it going to be when we do a random and just whoever, whatever number wins? You could be 50th and win when we do that. That's going to be cool. I was going to start that this week. I know. Clyde, 1969. 17 million. 49. Well, I mean, a lot of these scores are pretty close to here, down at the bottom here. 19690. Patty Natrill, maybe 47 at 21 million. Cosmic Arsenal at 23 million. 46. JE J. 1611, 45th at 23 million. See, these scores are really tight down here, man. Yeah. I mean, you could have, you could have bumped up. 450. You could jump from 57 to 44, 43. Here's Pop and Brad. Oh, you didn't Brad. do, you didn't do so good. You didn't do so good. You only got 28 minutes. I beat you, sucker. Woo! You beat Woo! me, Team McCloskey. You beat me. <laughs> so what was that on? Is that on that your was OTG. That was on OTG, yeah. Okay, that was OTG on that yeah. game. Okay. 28 million. G's 29 million. I mean, all these scores were up to 41. They're all they're all really close uh, so far, you know? Yeah. Where, where's the big jump gonna be at? 41 at 29 million, and then uh, 40 at 29 Fortress, million. Fortress. Fortress. It's in our other uh, tournament. Oh, cool. Okay, check, check out. out Girl. Check out 31. Girl Plays in Gregory's tournaments, too. Oh, really? Yeah, I see, I see that name a lot. All right. Gregory's playing Archer right now in FX3 if you want to be in another tournament. So we're all the way up to 39th, and yeah, we're, we're still rocking through them. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. We got a long way to go. No, not that far. 38. But Yummy, Today, yummy, e yum. Coming at 39 million. Joker, me, 40 million, 37. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm surprised how close these scores are. All the yeah, other man. We had some competition. People had to be, they were going back and forth all week to a lot of these. Here's that T Punk. T Punk, T -punk at 35. 41 million. There's a Hollywood Polo. Hollywood Polo, 50. 34th. 50 million. 50 million. 50 million, rocking it. Half of uh, a billion. Dave, yep. Dave LB, 51 mm -hmm. million. Still really close. We're really tight so far. Uh, missed, right? Yep, 32. 32 at 51.6. Huge polo. Is that Hollywood yeah, that's polo? Also Hollywood polo. Mm -hmm. 52 million. 52.7 at 31. 31. So here's the top 30. Jenny comes in at number 30 with 53.5. Good job, Jenny. There it is, Pop Lord Brad. Donkey Balls, number twenty-nine. Tony. Lord Donkey Balls, fifty-three point seven. Almost, yeah. almost, fit, almost fifty-three point eight. That's right, Mikey Yoon saying these are the real gamers. These are the real gamers. He, Mikey Yoon's calling the way it is. He saw Biggie D in there. These are the real gamers. So we're we're, the top, we're in the top thirty now of yep. a, of a, what was it fifty-seven people? That's a lot of people yeah. playing. So that's that's a lot of people playing. 
It was about half right here. We're about half. Yeah, look at look at that. It's better than the half point. Geo Way at fifty nine. Twenty mm -hmm. eighth. Big yeah, D. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good score. Good score, Big D. That's a good number. Twenty seven. Playing on console. Sixty two point eight. So it's a, mm -hmm. we're still okay. Here's a here's a. Um, we got the heavy hitters coming in now. And now we're doing jump. F oh, from Doom 60. from 60 to 62 to 82. 20 million more jump. Yep. So I wonder where that first jump was going to come from. But up That's to that point, man. Right there, right there, there was pretty even. Now there was a huge jump. 82. And 25. High scores on tap. There he is. 25. Coach, coach high scores on tap. 83.5. 83 million. Junkie boy. 90 million. 90.8. 90 90 24th old Lord powder days 94 million 94. 94 million you think we're gonna get to a billion i don't know did we i don't know oh I feel we're launch, close feel launch finch, feel launch, finch. 99, 99 almost a billion oh, just missed it by just that much almost hit the just million. missed the billion just under 100 million Mad Dog coming in strong. One billion. Three hundred and fifty one million coming in strong, Mad Dog. Yeah, hundred million, yeah. The crazy million. part is that's not even enough to break the top twenty with the sharks were smelling the blood in the water, Team McCloskey. Here come the sharks. Top twenty players. And they're top twenty. I made it. Whew. I made it top twenty. <laughs> top twenty. Valley Dern. One hundred one hundred and five almost hundred billion. And here comes Team McCloskey. Team McCloskey in the top 20, 106 billion. Good job, T. That was my that second was a good run. That was a that good was my, run. My second, my second and only time I played it. Yeah, that lightning never struck again, though. That, that was a lightning play there. That lightning hit hard on that one. That was a good play. Yeah, I just wish I could play it more. Darn it. Got okay. Wars, another YouTuber Wars? coming in strong. 111. 100, 111 billion. 100 million. 111 million. Good score, T. Yeah, he blew me. He didn't blow me out of the water, but he, he got me. He got me. You guys all got me up here. Free row. 111 billion. 111. So the man, this herb board is so close, man. <laughs> like, man. Yeah, look at them, man. They are like so close. Uh oh. Now we got a bump up 18. here. Yeah, we got a bump up here. Going up 111. to 133, 133 billion, not million, billion. <laughs> I'm back to the few. And keep in mind, that's probably what, like 20 minutes of gameplay to get there? That's pretty long gameplay. Once yeah, you yeah, there, Carl. You're, you're in a 15, 20 minute Carl game. Carl's nice TM. Yeah, you just saying that, Carl, because you beat me, sucker. We haven't seen uh, his name yet, Carlo, so he's a. We haven't seen Carlo yet. Yeah, that's why he's saying that. We know, he did. We know he's up there. <laughs> he got me. You're in the top 20, T. Yeah, at least I made it. Second like game ever. Made it. Uh, movie, movie box. box 74. 16 place. Darth Waiter. Darth Waiter. 103. 15th place. Good score. 133 billion Just points. Box. Just beat up. Oh, there he is. There's Carlo. Carlo's 14th place. 134 billion. Wyo says 100 million on this table is a good game. Wyo definitely is a competitor. Yeah, it's 100 million. His not, name yet. It's not billion, it's a million. Yeah. 100 million. You keep saying billion. So. 100 million, I'm sorry. I'm saying billions. Yeah. Millions. Oh, there he is. There, there he fries. is. There's Carlo. There's... Biggie Fries. Uh, 139. Biggie Fries. Biggie Fries. Uh, 13th just place. Up. Just edge out Carlo. Oh. 13. Just took Carlo by a little bit. Dan Z. There. Look at Dan Z, number 12. Dan Z, 12th place. 141. Scarecrow. Sacrow. Okay. Sacrow, 11th. 145. million, yeah. Not billion, yeah. million, I'm sorry. Okay, top 10. Oh, look who's top 10. Wyo's in the top 10 with a solid gameplay. Oh, yeah, Dan Z says. Solid gameplay. <clears throat> Dan Z, so close to Wyo. Is that 148 million? Yep, 148, yep. Good score. Big, Big Mama Jama, 69. Big, Big Mama, Big Mama Jama. Jama, 69. Yeah, 100, ninth place. 185 million, ninth place. 
getting reaching we're reaching two hundred thousand or two hundred million. Yeah, it's getting up there. Tibbs, fifty nine, eighth place. Good game. Hundred ninety five. Hundred ninety five million. About a 10, 10 million jump. Seventh place. I'm used to death. Two hundred fifteen. Correct. That's Gregory, right? Yep, that's Gregory. That's Gregory, who also does tournaments and pinball effects all the time. He is definitely a veteran of pinball. Good score, two hundred and fifteen million. Puyan seventh place. Puyan. Bio says, and then the real score is coming up. <laughs> Number six. Puyan equals life. Have a brand? Oh no, I played oh, this no. one myself. This was all me. Alex Trey. Oh, that's true. That's true. Two hundred thirty-five. So there's a big jump. There's a 20, 20 million jump. Yep. From seventh to sixth. Yep. And then number five, we're in the top five. Pop right we're in the top five. Oh, Dean huge! huge. Look at that huge jump. Two thirty-five to two eighty-two. That's the biggest jump. Two thirty-five to two eighty-two. Big jump there. Oh, Mikey, you might want to hold on to your horses. Uh, Nick's dropped down to number four. Nick's reviews. It was number 316 two. million. Almost got And not. at number three. Who's at number three, Team McCloskey? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that's Gregory, number three. Number 333 three. million. Number three, number three Gregory. <laughs> that's Papa Brad's game. <laughs> you actually said Gregory. <laughs> That's that's probably why it's gaining. 333 million. That's funny, man. You you said yeah, Gregory. No. I caught you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said 333 Gregory. Uh, nice score, man. Nice. Yeah. And you're still yeah, number three with that, that score. That the whole point of that. Oh, Nick, 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 told, Nick told me how to play the game to get a good score. And so I really owe it to Nick because Nick gave me the strategy. That I used to get that score, but look at number one, dude. That, yeah, I mean you're not even close. Two, number two, I know. Look at this, number two, four hundred fifteen million. But the number one, I can't score, see that one. <laughs> we're not even close to the number one. The number one is on a whole nother level. Nine hundred and fifty-one million nine hundred and nine hundred thousand one hundred nine hundred fifty-one. Almost, almost a billion. Almost you know, a billion. On this fucking table, man. Wow. Almost a billion. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how you get a high score on this table, Team McCloskey. Here's what how I How you did. get 951, sucker. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but I can tell you you get 333 million. What you do is you pick the easiest level. Like yeah, which the, is back in the future one, the 1985 yeah. one. And the reason why there's the least amount of stuff to mess up the ball from making the shots. And then what you do is you keep spamming the multi ball. You get the 2x multi ball, the 3x multi ball, the 4x multi ball. You I keep get the five. you keep doing nothing but focus on getting multi ball until it gets to 7x. Yeah, that's what I was. A, guess what? Once it's at 7x, from then on, when you hit it, you get a seven ball multi ball. Ah, uh, because so that's the top is seven. Okay. You don't focus on anything but hitting the multi ball. That should be your number one strategy. Yeah. And you pick the the reason why you pick the easiest level. There's the least amount of stuff to knock the ball off course. Yeah. So you play an easy level where there's not a lot going on, which is like the 1985 part one. Or in part the, two. Even the 50s one, if you play the first one, is not that bad. So um, you want to pick the levels without a lot going on, and then you're going to go for the multi ball. And that's basically all you got to do to get those kind of scores. Yeah, Dan, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. When the multi ball, when so the multi -ball hits, just focus your eyes right by the flippers to try to keep them active and just keep flipping, flip away. Yeah, that's what I was trying to not right let too. them drain, but that's that was a strategy, and it's it definitely worked for me. It was working for me. I got up to five multi balls. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't get to the six or seventh, but I didn't. I wonder how far up it went, so it went up to seven and stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was focused on that because to me, that was the easiest shot for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Nix was playing up to the end. I mean, Nix, Nix couldn't beat the score, but he was, he, was, he, was, he was a competitor. So he was he was playing up to the end. He wanted Sure to wasn't going to get the 951, game. that's for sure. Damn. Yeah. I mean, that's just like a next level. But I wonder how, how long did it take you to get to 333? I want to say it was like a half an hour. It was a long gameplay. 
It's like my 106. My hands were tired after, after and, playing. Oh, dude, those multi balls were, makes it hard. My hands are tired from you know, the triggers and stuff, you know, they were tired. But uh, it was cool. It was awesome. So, but you that's your strategy. The strategy, the key to getting a high score is like, at least at my level that I got, was uh, pick the easiest layout and then hit, keep hitting that center shot and get the, get the, get the multi balls going. Keep hitting that flux capacitor. And getting that multi-ball because each time you get one more ball so you want to max that yes. to seven and then once it's maxed to seven you just start playing the game at that point because you can't max it anymore i think the you're gonna diet. hit a lot of objectives and goals just because there's so much going on you know i did get the level with the indians that's 1885 mm -hmm. had indians yeah, that, that gives you a high score too mad dog said level with indians gave high scores too yeah this is a fantastic table though um, Bios is really kind of fell in, playing it for all week. I fell in love with the uh, table. It's a great table. Bio said uh, the creature he did uh, just hit the move your car over and over and over. Move your car, move your car. You get the rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah it was fun. I wonder I'm if right? I see scores anywhere no, just... anywhere close to this on the thing after a week. I mean, like I'm just starting to learn the table. The thing is fun too. This table is great though. Yeah, it was a fun table. I wish I could have played them more. This this table's good enough. I think it could be a cabinet. Like they could do a Back to the Future cabinet for this. Do you think it would be successful? Uh, you think it would be a big seller? Uh, I think Creature would be a bigger seller, but that's just yeah. me. But yeah, I mean, uh, Zen Studios' uh, artwork on this table looks great. It's very good artwork too. This did rate. What did this rate in the Wagner poll? Wasn't it like top five? Back to the Future was really high in the Wagner poll. I remember that. I have the poll somewhere. Oh, have all the stuff somewhere. It up. I know it was in the in the top five though. I, I thought I had. I thought I showed it recently. I took a photo of it, but uh, you know, good luck finding the photo. <clears throat> that keep all of our. I know it's hard to keep it all organized. I got a folder for each so uh, one of our shows. I know I showed it not too long ago. Well, it ain't in that one. This one's empty. I'll find it eventually. We're looking for it. I know I it was up there. Just to watch a video. <laughs> Probably would be, actually. Here it is. Back to the Future is number two, dude. Number, number two. one table was Indiana Jones. Number two, Back right. to the Future. Number three was Attack from Mars. Number four was a Star Wars theme cab. Number five was Twilight Zone. Six, Medieval Madness. Seven, Star Trek. Eight, Williams Multi Table. Nine, Jurassic Park or World. Ten, Monster Bash. Eleven, Jaws. Twelve, Creature. Thirteen, a Marvel theme table. 14 Mandalorian, 15th Godzilla or Kong or versus Kong, 16th Alien, 17th Funhouse, 18 Alien versus Predator, 19 The Walking Dead, 20 Kong, and 21 ET. There you there go. go. So it's number two. The number yeah. two table. I knew it was in the top five. Yeah, this table plays great too. This is this is definitely a great playing table. But anyway, thank you everyone that participated. It was a lot of fun. A lot of a lot fun. Of fun doing the tournament. Um, checking every day. Seeing, Thanks, guys. Seeing new people coming in and playing the game. It uh, was great. Hopefully awesome. we have, we have a, another good turnout for the thing. Now, this is a more mature table. Pinball yeah, it is a mature table. Paired it's a more mature table. You know, it's the <coughs> movie The Thing. Great science fiction horror movie. John Carpenter's oh. movie. Young says uh, she was so like hotcakes, but I wouldn't buy it though. Yeah, creature I would. Uh, I'd love right, to have the table though. That again. gruesome music. That gruesome music. Love to have the table on uh, my at games though. Yep. That's a mind of its own, suckers. Yeah, 
I kind of agree. Uh, there's a lot of nostalgia still in the Back to the Future brand. Man, it has some legs. We got 14 people in here already. Nice. We got 14. We just started. Uh, we just started. I, we. Yeah, I forgot to show uh, the trailer, Pop Brad. We got to show the trailer, Team McCluskey. Full screen that mug. Yeah, I'm doing one or not. T. McCluskey. Full screen it. Yeah, full screen it. Oh, for Papa me. Brad's Gaming. Part of our K-Talk show presents Zen Studios Pinball Tournament. This week's table is a thing. No, I just tape when I'm finished. None of us make it. We still need some kind of record. The tournament will run from April 11th through April 17th. Storm's been hitting us hard for 48 hours now. Still have a mini game? Nobody. It is on sale on Steam. Don't trust anybody now. In Switch. Nothing else I can do. Just wait. There it is. S X P E is the code to get in the tournament. And all you have to do to enter the tournament is go into your pinball FX on whatever platform you're going to use. Once you're inside pinball FX, you just go up to the tournament. Ah, uh, this is pinball M though. Once all the tournaments fix load that. up. The simplest way to find our tournament is go to search ID and you type in the tournament's ID that was on the rules page. You just type it in here. Hit enter. Pretty much works the same way. You should find different. our tournament. Yeah. Look, it works the same way though. You just click on our tournament. You can look at the leaderboards or you can play in the tournament. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do to enter the tournament. Once you play a game, they'll automatically put your score on leaderboards. So come, check out a tournament. And hopefully so let's do it. Let's do it. Well, there you go, guys. There, there you it go. is. The trailer. But yeah, it does work the same way. I should just put it in there on there. And yeah, it works the same X, way. Or Pinball X M. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the leaderboard. Once again, the uh, code is SXPE. So we got 14 people in here. 14 already. It just uh, came back to what? New today, really? Yeah, I mean, we didn't even we didn't even talk about it yet, so. You got 14, so that's a good sign. Yep. I think that's more than we got uh, last week. Um, yeah. We announced uh, Back to the Future at this point. So there we go. We got, oh, we got somebody new in here. Mac Bit. Mac 14. 3.8 million. We got Carl, Carl O. Coming in. 13th. 5.2 million. Then you got MF, MF Doom. Mm -hmm. 6.7 million at 12th. 11th is that J. Co. I don't know how to say the last name. <laughs> um, was that Fabergé? I don't know. Mm. It's 7.5 million 11th. And uh, there's Dave LB again. 10.5 million at 10th. Nice score. And Perry at 10.9, mm. ninth place. Almost cracked 11 million. And Pop Brad Gaming. Papa Brad's gaming, 11 million. You cracked 11 million. You're an eighth. For now. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, though. Damn. I thought that with that score, you'd be higher. High, high scores score on top. top. Look how close we are. Oh. Man, we are necking. Me and high scores, we're going to be neck and neck. Look at that. We're like right next to each other score wise. High scores on top is like, yes, I beat Papa Brad gaming. Yeah. You, you, you probably Brad. saw my score. He probably played till he beat me. He was like, all that matters is I beat Papa Brad. And he, he went one above me. And get too much higher though. It's only 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 a little bit over uh, a million. 
Carlos said, there ain't many tourneys on Pinball M. It was right there when I went to the tourneys, huh? And Dan, Dan Z, Puyan. Puyan! High score. You got to be high scored, man. I got to play some Dan more. Z. I see. Dan Look at Z. Dan Z coming in with 13. Sixth place. Dan Z, did you complete any of the modes? Did you get all the way through the mode? How many modes is that when you get to 13? You get through any modes? I got close. I didn't finish yeah. any of them, but I got, I got, I got a few of them where I was at the ending part of finishing them. And I just couldn't pull it off. I couldn't get the shots, T. McCloskey. Why couldn't you get the shots, man? I don't know. I need to practice more. All right, you got five, uh, five memberships. Mickey Young got one. Thanks, Jason. Reality got one. All right. Paul got one. Yeah. Woo. Dance on the ground. Some heat. Got one. Woo. Steve Peterson got one. All right. Welcome to Arcade Talk. Welcome, mem new members. Welcome, welcome, new members. Lucky Young got one. Welcome, Arcade Mikey. Talk and Star Wars reviews. We did five Arcade Talks, Star Reviews memberships. Thanks, Jason. Excellent. Go to. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We always, we always forget to. We always forget to tell people subscribe. To poor Arcade Talk. We need to get you to a thousand. Carlos saying, Dan Z, bring in, bring in the heat. Close on lockdown. Okay, Dan Z said, close on lockdown in the dog. One killed me. Damn, dogs can kill you, sucker? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm always rooting Dude, with the dog mode, kids. it's called Man's Best Friend. And you got to shoot all these tentacles, tentacle dogs. And then you got to you gotta get the ball to become fire. And you got to shoot it in that saucer. The blood saucer to uh to blood saucer. the mode. Yeah, the little blood saucer. It's that little ramp to the right if you look at the table layout. See what blood saucer. Yeah, so this one here doesn't show you a little you gotta, game it's game. A, the modes are tough. I mean you're gonna you're gonna have to play for a while to get good at this one. Just see, just tack. What I do love is it hits all the key moments of the movie. Like uh, you know, I'm I went just... and found I went and found all the monster transformations from the movie T. McCloskey, and I made a video on my channel of all the monster transformations, and they're all in the pinball machine. They're all in the game. All of them are. All of them. All the big it. all the big moments where something changes into the thing are in the game, which is really cool when you look at the movie footage. It's like it's really. Uh, that's awesome. Really, really emulates. It has it has the key moments from the film, which is really what you want to see. Uh, I killed my berserk, man. My berserk no, is dead now. Your berserk is dead. You need another one. Battery. battery. Oh, the battery's dead. Yeah, I never charged it. it lasted that long on the charge that came with the machine. We'll charge her up. I charge it up. If I had one of those uh, cigarette machines, man, I can charge it up right now. I didn't get this cigarette machine though. Oh, no, Pop, I didn't get one. You can get one. I mean, like it's coming anytime soon, though. <laughs> All right, back to the tournament. Just a Citizen is number five at 15.7 million. Number four is Real Creamer. Uh -huh. uh, 16.4 million mm -hmm. at number four. Mm -hmm. uh, dang, I have a hard time reading these, man. They're so dark. Yeah. Dean, they are. Dean Holcraft. Dean Holcroft. Dean, Holcroft. Dean, Dean Holcroft. Croft. Yeah. yeah. Dean Holcroft. He was at, he was in our last tournament. That's what I thought. Number was. three. He's bringing some heat. 26.9. Big jump. Wow. Big jump from 60. It's almost 10. Well, 10 million more for the next uh, score. Look at Gregory. Another big jump with Gregory. I'm look used at to death. Gregory. Gregory's coming to play. He's not Holy messing shit. around. 35 million right out the gate. And number one. Fifty-seven point five million. Number one, the what is it? G G A G G Gabor Gabor six oh four six six oh four fifty-seven. Just blowing everybody out, man. Blew Gregory out yeah. by what twenty two? Cool. Look at his his background. Million? Is his background is a dog running through the Arctic? Yeah, he must like this table. Wolf. Yeah, he must like this ah. table. 
Yep. This must that's be his, this must be his jam because it's his background. Yeah, but that's the background you unlock from this table. Yeah. yeah he's played this one a bit to have yeah, yeah, yeah. background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nineteen. Lock me. Fifty seven million. That seems like yeah, it's already off a, to a good really... start. Come come play this table with us. And it's on sale right now. Isn't it on sale, T McCluskey? On Steam, it's on, on sale Steam, for $4.66. I'm not sure if it's on sale. Did you, did you check it out on a PlayStation? Mm, uh, I don't remember when I bought it, if it was on sale or not. I don't know if it's on sale. I know uh, Biggie D said it's on sale on a Switch, which you can't play on a Switch, but um, it could mean it might be on sale on Xbox. I tried to play it on OTG today, but it wouldn't launch. I don't know. It was probably something I messed up. Carlos, have you got a level 66 in attorney? Level 66. That is Gregory's a level 31. We got we got some sharks. We got some sharks. They they smell oh, yeah, right blood there. in the water. Yeah, number five. He's a level 66 in the level 66. Him. Wow. What level are you? I'm I'm pretty low. You're level nine. I'm probably around level that. nine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not high at all. That's yeah, awesome though. So he's been playing a lot of pin. I want to... Yeah, we got some pretty high ones, but level sixty six is real high. There was a twenty six underneath it. Yeah, and like I said, I think Gregory's. Yeah, let Gregory's. Gregory's a thirty one. Wow. Nudge Ninja. It's a nudge. Nudge Ninja. Nudge Gregory. Ninja. What was that level sixty six that they got on theirs? All it takes is one good game. You could be the winner. All it takes is a really good game. Yep. Uh, can read that one. Something favorite. And did these favorites? Ju just a citizen. Just a citizen four. Yeah, and he's a ent something entities favorite. I think it says underneath his name. How there. do you get the little thing under your name like that? Does that have to be um, one or what is that? Uh, it's from playing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's from playing. Like, like he, a, like Gregory's a nudge, nudge ninja. He's a nudge ninja. What are you? Are you anything? I'm nothing. I'm Papa Brad, that's it. Nothing. You got nothing. Got nothing. I'm, I'm a level nine. I'm, I'm, I'm a little grunt. That's what I am. Oh, look at me. I'm look who I am, sucker. What are you? I'm, I'm Chucky's best friend. You're Chucky's best friend. Yep. Wow. You're a friend yeah. to the end. Look See it? Yeah, you're Chucky's best friend. You're a friend to the end, T. McCluskey. Level 13, man. Level Chucky's you're best you're friend. Me. You're levels higher than mine. I'm Chucky's uh, best friend, suckers. That's me. Not not anybody else. I'm Chucky's best friend, suckers. <laughs> friend to the end. Friend one of the good the guys. End. One of the good guys. He's one of the good guys. Do you see they got a TV series out? Yeah, I saw that. I didn't even know they had a Chucky TV series. <clears throat> I just saw a trailer of it yesterday. I thought, like, look, they got a series. I think they're on season three. So it's been out for a while. I know. I don't know. Not even, I never even heard of it. I, me either until I, I saw, saw the trailer. Free, the free episode. They dropped the free episode. Uh, what, you had to play. You had to, you had to pay for it or something. No, I think it's. Uh, well, I saw there was a free episode on YouTube. I think. Oh, I'm not sure where. Maybe it, that's where I saw it. I saw it, or maybe it was on Facebook. I don't know. I saw. I saw the Chucky that had. They had a. They had where you can watch it for free. One episode. Oh, did it really? Common sense. Uh, if anybody plays Dead by Daylight. Common Sense says, oh, by the way, they added Chucky to Dead by Daylight. Hmm. That's awesome. Are you little like Chucky too, running around with life? Chucky. You're like your yeah. little doll running around. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, I always think it's funny after you said, like, why don't, why don't people just kick him? You could just, like, field goal kick him. I know. He's just a little doll. I mean, come ah, on. I'm scared. Kick him. Yeah, kick him. You know, grapes. Yeah. He can't he can do much damage to you if send you kick him. him. Send him through the goalposts of life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this hobby hands. You know, we talked about Pacific Rim being in a table for Zen. YouTube, YouTube has some, some good right now. Yep. I watched Pacific Rim again today. Oh, so you can watch Pacific Rim on YouTube? That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah they got movies over there now. They got some their own series too. But yeah, we called that for uh, Zen Pinball uh, new turn or new uh, table coming out. We're off to a good start. You want to throw up the room code one more time? What's the room code to get into the room? Does it say it? S X P E. S X P E. Yeah. 
Common Sense says Chucky is not only small, but the player using him gets third person view. That's pretty cool. That's good to have a third person view, especially being that small. Because you'd be so short, you'd be hard to look up. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had a Chucky. I'll have to check out I did by Delight. That dog uh, was playing some pinball FX. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, there's a tournament, guys. Uh, I showed you the trailer. Here is Pinball M. Yeah, not all the tables. Here it is. The thing? Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Load that, load that mark up. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that cool little room that you go into. Yeah, it's like got icicles on it. It's a pretty cool room, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. I won't play or nothing because it does, doesn't it zoom around if you don't hit the. I think so. You want to kick us to the side? Let's do that. See if that's that better. Which one's better? Is this better? Yeah, yeah. It's bigger. It's bigger if we do that. Bigger, yep. Let's see yeah, it gets like a little, a little, a little trailer. A little trailer from the beginning of the movie. John Carpenter's the thing. The way you activate the game is you activate the flipper. I mean the uh, the plunger. So pull down on the plunger and plus press the plunger button. The John Carpenter's the thing. Dude, this movie holds up because they used all practical effects. The practical effects are a lot better than CGI, in my opinion. Yeah. Just looking back at the footage, all the practical effects made it this movie uh, in Arctic really special. Nineteen eighty two. Nah, I just take when I'm finished. Look at this gorgeous pinball. We get to play this all week, T. Look at all, all the stuff to do on it. Hard for 48 hours now. Yeah, Still house. Have nothing to go on. Get the helicopter there. That center shot is how you start the modes. You keep spamming that center shot with the footprints, and that'll start you into your modes. Super jackpot. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. The snow plow is your plunger. Pretty damn cool. Helicopter pilot. U.S. outpost. Got a med kit there, I guess? I can't tell. Is that a med kit There's on your there? different modes. Lockdown. Man's best Man's friend. Best friend. That's the dogs, right? It's the beginnings. Mm -hmm. There he is. His little is. 1980s computer. <laughs> yeah, some, I saw he had some chess on there. That was pretty cool. They had, they had an Atari video game in the... Uh, Asteroids Deluxe, I think, in the actual movie. Pretty oh, is cool. that the blood pit right there? Yeah. That's the blood pit right here? There's the oh, blood no, pit there. right there. That's the blood right pit. There. Yeah, That's where the dog appears, where you have to kill him at the end. You got to light the ball on fire. Then you have to hit okay. the dog, and that that's that's the that's the blood the blood saucer. So There's your kickback. Mm-hmm. Kickback there. Blood, blood, blood test. The Dude, I wish, the, I wish those sunglasses lit up just a little bit longer. Let's shoot again doesn't last that long. No. I don't think so. Morph morph thing. So right here, the super jackpot, that's the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a thing? mini game. If you keep spam on that left, that left entrance, it unlocks a mini game. It's like a little mini game with flippers. It's like a little pinball pinball table inside the pinball table kind of game. Yeah, it has like four four uh, flippers on it. Yeah, and it's really it's great. The controls are really crazy, too. The first time I got in it, I don't even think I hit anything. <laughs> You're like, what the hell are you supposed but to yeah, do? Yeah, I have a strategy when I get in there now. But man's best Small? friend. Oh, you can get an extra ball. Got a little drink there by his little computer. Oh, almost looks like an arcade yeah. cabinet. It's just a computer. There is well, an arcade thing cabinet be? in the movie. What's this thing behind the blood pit, man? It looks like a little monster. Is that where the monster comes out? Right, right here. Yeah. Looks like it has a face. You probably can't see that when you're playing. Because it's behind the blood pit. Yeah, there's there's stuff that comes off of that. I forgot there's there's something you get for hitting that thing. Man's best friend. It's the mode with the dog. The morphic thing, blood test, lockdown. The Norris thing. Yeah, it's, lockdown. It's it's beginnings. They got one, two, three. You so say you got five. Five, five modes. modes. But the modes are long. I'm just going to warn you. They're like very long. I mean, uh, 
and they do they do they do hit the five key moments of the movie like if you go back and look at all the mon all the monster transformations every Thanks. one of them every one of them is in this game team mccloskey every cool. key moment i was i was like yes see the center uh entrance has I, I didn't put the video with the movie footage on both channels because it did get a it did get a it's demonetized video yeah that sucks but I, I wanted to show like the scenes from the movie and how they connect. Oh, the Norris thing. Yeah. The Norris thing. The Norris thing. That's that's where the head turns into the spider. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's my favorite shot of the movie by far. That shot is insane. I Man, it still looks crazy. Yeah, look at the, the center entrance. You got foot footsteps in there. Pretty cool. Smoke coming off the chimneys. <clears throat> And you could, you could spell booze on the outlanes. That's like a multiplier. If you spell booze. Oh, it's booze. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. On the, you got to spell booze. Z-E. Okay. Z-E. Yeah. Booze. It's booze. B-O-O-Z-E. There it is. Yep. Oh, so it's got three, huh? Yeah. Or three over here and then two over here. And then you yeah. got two outs. Two outs. I know that gap between the flippers. I gotta okay. get. I gotta get good at getting the blood saucer shot. That's a shot I need to perfect. I pretty much get where I can get all the dogs, except for getting the last one. How many dogs are there? Five. There's like a lot. I'm gonna see like five. And then and then it says light up the, set the pinball on fire to take out the uh, the dog, the main dog. And then you gotta hit it in that saucer. That's where Oops. it appears. I guess it did it because. Click that on the screen. So gonna do yeah, it so come play, time. come play in the tournament. Yeah, it kicks me out every time. I want. Yeah, it's fine. But there it is. There's the what the table looks like. Yeah, come play, come drop a score in the leaderboards. Mm -hmm. On this one here, I'm gonna give. I should have said earlier, but it didn't. Um, we're gonna do a little uh, giveaway on this. We're gonna do a twenty dollar gift card. To the winner and then a ten dollar random. Okay, card. so just for playing, you have a chance to get a ten dollar Amazon card, right? Yeah. We're going with, so we're going with the Amazon card, straight up, straight up money. You get, you get just something that's easy to get. So everyone likes like likes the Amazon uh, cards. Twenty dollars for the winner, and ten dollars we'll will be to a random player. So if you drop a score in your last place, you still got a chance. Doesn't to Doesn't matter. You have a chance to win, depending on how many right. people play. And even if we do last week, I mean, they only had like 50, uh, what, 57 players? 57, yeah. It's still not bad odds. Yeah, and whoever the winner is, they will not be able to participate in the random. Yeah, one. there's no double dip. No yeah, double dips. Double dips, we'll double no dips. way. We don't double dip here. You win something, we'll that's dip. that's it. Congratulations, but no double dipping, yeah. So if you give any uh, donations, it'll be going to that pot. Yeah. So it'll be 30 bucks coming, giving out. And later on, we might bump it up, and then we might do different gift cards, um, some point too, you know. Yeah. Change it up some. Maybe do Steam sometime or Xbox or whatever. We'll do something, but you know, for for now, we're gonna do. Uh, Amazon. I think. I think to me, I, I think the Amazon is always the best because everyone has the Amazon for the most part. Some people don't do Steam, believe it or not. Team Klosky, believe it or not, some people don't do Steam. Oh, I know, it's, but that's, it's that's why believe. I believe it's hard to believe. Some people are playing on consoles, you know. When I always did the giveaway, sometimes when I do those giveaways, I would give you the choice Steam, Xbox, Switch, or um, PlayStation. Because mm -hmm. they're all, you know, they're all, they're all the same. So if they ever uh, do that, that's what we would do. Give me the choice of those. But this week it's Amazon for sure. Mario's in here. says, Sup, y'all. He said, Is Adam's family arrived damaged? Attack from Mars. Attack arrived from Mars. Damaged. Need yeah. contact at games. Let what was know. damaged, uh, Doc Mario? What was damaged? That sucks, man. I hate to see that. I'm sorry to hear it was damaged. Yeah. Yeah, what was damaged on it? Hopefully nothing super bad. <sighs> so $28 uh, Amazon gift card for the winner and then random $10. Random $10. And like those uh, memberships that people gave tonight, like Jason, it was a Hobby Hands, gave the other one. Those will be going towards this tournament. Yeah, Hobby Hands yeah. and Jason gave us Thank five dollars each, so that's ten dollars that go right to the tournament. The topper was beat up. 
Ah. Back box MDF also had dents in the sides. See, how's the topper beat up? I mean, this thing is packaged so well, the topper, I thought. Man. Yeah, and they must, must have beat up that one box. I think that's easier to ship back than the uh, main body, though. Oh, yeah. The main body is so heavy. Like, I wouldn't want to have to ship that back. That's a, that's a heavy Mamba Jamba, the, the yeah. whole body of it, especially if you have the SSF kit in there. Yeah, I've seen some pretty crushed um, um, playfields, which you have to send them back. Uh, uh, back box also had dents in, in the sides. They must have dropped it. Back box. They must dense. have dropped it. Pretty big drop to make it do that. Get dents. So it's not cracked, it's dense. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not weak wood either. I mean, no, I mean it, it tells me a pie machine or something was used where it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. So excited. I didn't. Was, the damage was limited to box two. Box one was perfect with the SSF pre installed. Well, that's good. At least the more yeah. the more uh, serious chunk of it is good. Yeah. You know, I, I would definitely contact that games and make sure they make it right. They will. They've been pretty yeah. good from what I've heard from people. Yeah, I heard they're pretty quick as uh, well. I heard they've been doing pretty good as far as taking care of people with damage. Yeah, the topper would be real easy, but yeah, he'll have to probably ship back the whole back box. Does the topper come with a back box? Yeah. So they'll probably have to ship back that whole box. Yeah, they might. They pretty much, almost pretty much one. almost everything comes in that back box box. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do anything without the bed. The legs are in the back box box, aren't they? Everything's yep. in the back box box. Only thing in the play field is the play field and then uh, that uh, screw kit. It has like the Allen wrench and then the screws. That's right. There's very little in there. Which is probably good because you probably don't want anything in there moving around. Yeah. We got a lot it's of, heavy lot enough. Packing, it lot of heavy packing. enough. It's heavy enough. You don't need any extra weight in that box. And they got a lot of foam and stuff. I'm sorry to hear that, though. Definitely contact um, at games and keep us informed on what's going on. We want to yeah. hear how they took care of you. So they said, uh, yeah, take it opened on arrival. Arrived on Monday. Got attacked from Mars. How's the play field look? Like the side art, Doc Mario. You, you happy with the side art on the play field? <clears throat> yeah, legs with the back box. Yeah, everything's with the back box. The play field box was heavy enough. It doesn't need anything else. <laughs> yeah. So Mario says, have not heard back yet. So you should have heard. To me, you should hear by now, but... They're probably so loaded with all that attack from Mars damage people. Side art looks awesome. I'll say all the pictures that look really cool. Very bright and clear. If you want to hear. How does the game play? Because we, we have not played Attack from Mars. How's the game play? What do you think about the game, Doc Mario? You have you have the machine? Maybe you can tell us what you think of the game. That in it, first impression of it. If he has it put together. Well, I might as well put it together and Sounds like a little play. Imagine just... might have put it together and then. What was wrong with the topper too? Was it cracked or? Was it cracked? He said the topper was beat up. I would say maybe scratched. Hopefully. Either way, they'll replace it. Either way, they'll curious. replace it, I'm sure. But but yeah, it should be played. The should topper's play not it, really though. required to play it, though. No. But you do. I mean, I'm not saying you don't want the topper, <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying like as far as playing the game, it's, it's not really a, it's not a necessary part. Hopefully all three screens work. It says, have not turned it on, given that it's incomplete. Tupper was cracked and had a hole punched in it. Oof. What? A hole punched a hole. in it? Something hit that box hard for holes. Yeah, I, told you, topper. I told you some machine. Forklift. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Something hit it. Something hit that it box. And cracked that and had a hole yeah. punched in it. Yeah. Man, that sounds like something punched through the box, man. A wow. fork. Pie a fork, uh, one of the forks, yeah, right in that mug, right in that. My man, that sucks. He probably was hung over. Oh man, I missed yeah, it, man. Man, it was missed a hole. <laughs> I made up my own holes, <laughs> yeah. Made right his own holes. Topper. Asshole, man, dang that it. That sucks, man. I would probably still turn it on, though. I'd probably you still don't... turn it on. I'd fire it up. I want to put the topper on there, though, because you plug it in, it might go, Psh. yeah, yeah. I've not assembled it yet since I need to hear what contents that game wants back. Yeah. I would say they'll probably want that whole box The whole back. box, box two or whatever. Who knows? We'll see what they say. <clears throat> I 
you almost would want to plug it in just to make sure so the other box is good though yeah make sure the play field works make sure everything else works make sure there's no other damage just don't put the topper on it just don't put yeah just because it, who knows what wrong with that topper with the hole in it he said he didn't see any holes or damage it must it must have been dropped from up high that could cause yeah, it what, too what would cause that hole though a fall I mean, this, I guess the way it hit, you know, could hit on a corner. It could hit on a corner, maybe. Yeah. I know there will be mailing toppers out, but it's a bummer. That side art on the back box sounds damaged, too. Yep. Yeah, it sounds like it's dense. Dense enough. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's move on, guys. We're going to do the last thing. Let's move along. Our own game of the week. Game of the week. It's a doozy. It is a doozy. I did this one. Oh, Brad loved it. Oh, yeah. So, so it was easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time for Carl of the Week! Carl's Game of the Week? is tricky doc tricky doc what what do you mean tricky, tricky doc tricky, tricky doc. doc what are you talking about pop brand the <laughs> trick of this game is it's the hardest damn game i've ever played tricky doc you, you call yourself a retro gamer give this one a try there he is there doc give this one a try this one this one this one is tough let's roll it let's do it hello gamers and welcome back to pop brand's game where today we're diving into the classic arcade game from 1987, Tricky Doc. Tricky Doc. By Tech Fry. This is one of the hardest arcade games I've ever played. Let's check it out. Tricky Doc throws you right into the action as you take the role of a mad scientist who's accidentally released his genetic creations into the wild. Your mission, to contain these mischievous creatures and restore order before chaos reigns supreme. This platformer is filled with six insanely challenging levels, each packed with enemies desperate to escape. You'll need quick reflexes and cunning strategy to outsmart and outmaneuver these critters. When I say this game is brutal, I mean it is insanely brutal. Controls for Tricky Dock are pretty simple. You have an eight-way joystick. And you have two buttons. First button, button one, is jump. Button two is attack. So you have two buttons, jump and attack. Pretty simple control screen for a brutally hard game. And when you finish the level, you're treated to the little on our mission. Never made it through all six buildings. Actually, I just gave up. This game is insanely hard. Um, I would like to see the end. I did look, I did take a sneak peek on uh, YouTube. Looks like when you get to the end, you get the exact same intermission and it just loops. So a bit anticlimactic. It's definitely no Donkey Kong as far as uh, having a story for a platformer. Look at that flyer art. Tech Fry. This game's made by Tech Fry. Not Biggie Fries, oh, Tech Fry. Right. He's got some moves. From dodging and crouching to jumping and spraying with his paralyzing mist. You need every skill at your disposal. It took me about four hours to get this gameplay. Don't think it will be a walk in the park. Each level presents new challenges. You almost have to memorize the patterns of each level to get through them. At least I had to. It's a pretty tough game. So load this game up on your multi king oh, hey. folks. But it's time to journey back to 1987 experience the thrill of Tricky Doc. We need to test your skills, unleash your inner scientists, and save the day and this blast from the past. Graphics are really good for a 1987 arcade game. Graphics are great. Yeah, the graphics are good. Definitely not for everyone. This game would be for the seasoned retro gamer that wants a super challenging experience. Some of the sounds 
Mind me, this, uh, th th this is what you give someone that says, "Oh, I can beat any game." Give them this one. Check out level design. Basically, sounds 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 a sound, 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 little bit like um, Peter Packrat. Right the yeah, they do. A little bit. Yay! Does just repeat when you finish. Oh, uh, does no ending? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It just repeats. It just starts back over. Closing thoughts. Dude, this is where I, this is where I started to rage quit. TT, watch us, watch these jumps, watch these jumps. Okay, I got it this time. Here I go, here I go. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I got this. I got this. I got. Oh my God! You get close. That's okay. That's okay. Surely this time. Surely this time. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Here I go. Here I go. T. T. I got this. I got this. I'm almost at the end. That beer's waiting for me down at the bottom. No! Oh! You're so close! Dude! Are you supposed to use that little crane thing? I th I, that, there was a, that's the only thing that you could do. You have to get across it. Papa Brad, you couldn't get that beer. You couldn't get the beer. couldn't get the beer. I mean, this is like the first game I was not able to finish. Couldn't get through it, but I, I gave it my best. I gave Hold it my on. best. That's four hours. That's four, four hours. hours right there. Yeah, I just eventually had to get, I had to throw in the towel on this one. But this is this is this is a retro challenge. Like people that's that think they're you know the best of the best at retro gaming, try this one. I want to see you beat it. I mean, I want to honestly, I want to see where it goes from there. I couldn't get any further. Um, it is a it is a fun game. It is challenging though. <laughs> Ray Caro pissed off mood mode. Give you this game. He wanted you to suffer. Yeah, well, it's not moved. Uh, I got through Tricky Doc. I got through Tricky Doc. I got I got the review done. You got you triggered. You got triggered, sucker. I, I had to rage quit after a while. I just there was a lot of cussing going on. I'm glad I didn't what? have a microphone on. I just had the, I just had the game capture on. There was a lot of cussing going on. You know, you know, could probably beat this game. Nick's Nick's my. This is one I need to give him. It's like, yeah, you're you're a good gamer. Beat this one. I want to see someone beat this. It's pretty tough. Carl was out to get you this week, Savage. I don't think so. I think he's looking for games we haven't seen before. This is definitely one I've never seen before. That's what he said. And it's Carole. pretty cool. It's a cool game if you've never played it. Uh, it, it. I won't, like, you know, like sometimes I say the game ramps up in difficulty. This one starts off hard right out the gate. Like, you know, this one This one is a bit of a rude awakening. Like, the, the, the first time I couldn't even get through, like, the first, the first like, I couldn't even get the scroll. I was getting killed so much, so, but it does get easier. I think if you played it enough, you could probably master it, but it would require a lot of practice. Yeah, like that part, part there. It looks like you, you can see, like, yeah you, yeah, you have to like, you'll watch. I'll just stop because I know that these wrenches are going to be thrown at me. Like, you eventually start to just. That's how I ended up getting through it. I eventually memorized the pattern yeah. of where the enemies come, but, but they throw so many enemies at you. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's that, that, you know. That's Tricky Doc for you. It was Tricky Doc. Tricky Doc. Tricky Doc. The game of the week. Game Carl was out to get week. me this week. Savage. Yeah. Dude, I thought Victory was pretty hard too with the with the rotary controls, but it was actually really fun. I would say I liked Victory more than Tricky Doc. Hardest one yet? That's the hardest one I've played. Yeah, it's got to be like it's got to be one of the hardest ar arcade games. It's got to be one of the hardest ones I've ever played. It's got to be up there. Maybe maybe something like um, can't even think of anything that hard. Yeah, I can't find no cab. I couldn't find any cabinets this week for it. I couldn't find any cabinet for it either. <clears throat> Must be a. Um, Seems like these but, '90s games were uh, all like they're uh, probably conversion version. kits. They're probably conversion yeah. kit or something that people just put them in whatever cabinet they had laying around. Seems like a lot of the '90s games were that way. Like they they, they were done making cabinets by then. They were just modifying yeah. existing ones. Put these in whatever you got, you know. <clears throat> I think uh, Jason said uh, they made a game called Whole Land as well. The same company, Whole Tech Land. Fry. Yep. Never heard of whole land either. <laughs> Dude, I was excited when I found the flyer. I was like, I thought I was like finding gold. Like I couldn't find anything on this game. So like finding the flyer was a find. 
This was a tough one. But the game mechanics are actually pretty easy. Really, what you got to do is you got to run around. You got to get that that sprayer, the little aerosol spray can, and then you can you can shoot the enemies. Um, you can also punch them, but it, you got to hit them a bunch of times. The punching is pretty hard, so you really oh, want to get that. You want to get that spray can. Makes but, it a little um, easier. Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot. So I think that's it. You got anything else, T? That's it, sucker. That's it. That's Another enough. arcade talk. Come play in the yeah. tournament. We'd love to see you playing. Popped up the and it? prizes. Uh, first place prize is what? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Second uh, mm -hmm. random prize that you could just for playing in the tournament. Doesn't matter what place you get. You can win a ten dollar Amazon card. That's a pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet prize pool. Just for playing. Just for playing. Tournament ID SXPE. Yes. You got videos with the code showcasing the game on uh, Arcade Talk channel and on my two channels. If you want to see a really fun video, go to uh, Papa Brad Live. That's the one with the video footage of the movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. This is a, this yeah, I'm is a looking forward to the table. It. As you see, I wasn't number one there, Papa Brad. I didn't even get in here yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be glad. Just want to complete a mode completely. You know, I've got yeah. very close to completing it. Yeah, I get to the edge of completing them, but I haven't completed one yet. So I'm, I'm going to dance a little jig when I uh, complete one of these modes in this game. Yeah, I played a little bit in the demo uh, of it once. Look like it's pretty fun. <clears throat> it is fun. At one point, I got a blizzard, too. I didn't tell you about that. There was like a blizzard uh, disappeared. Yeah. This, it started snowing. That was pretty cool. You can only do that on virtual pinball, of course. It starts snowing. That was pretty cool when I got the blizzard. I was like, this is neat. And you can Crazy. play it on PS4, PS5, Xbox, McCluskey. Steam. I think, it, I think in the beginning of this shows you the um, the blizzard. Yeah, okay. Let's watch a video. It's only like two minutes. Yeah. There it is. Some kind of record. The tournament will run from April 11th through April 17th. Oh, those can or the flare guns, and flares light up too. There's the mini, There's game. mini game. That's what you get for this. The left, the left hole shot to the left. That's man's best friend. That's the dog. Man's best friend mode. You gotta light the ball on fire to get that mug. I've not gotten multi ball yet. I don't even know how to get multi ball. I haven't gotten multi ball yet. There's Come something on. you do with the ice. There's the blizzard. There it is. Yeah. There's the blizzard. Just leave. Ah. Awesome. So how you how you get how you get the blizzard? I don't know. It just happened. I must have triggered That's, something I did. I see an alert down here. I I'll probably know in a week. I'll know more how to play, but yeah, it's got to be something you trigger to get that. Yeah, you uh, light up this versus Mac. Do you light that up too? See, like the uh, AC. No, I, or I don't know. Up. I've done it before, but you can the only Amazon get that shot up. from the launch. Is the only way you get up there. Yeah, the table itself looks pretty cool, man. I mean, it is a cool table. It's fun. A good shot of it right here. My main shot I need to practice is to get into the blood saucer. That that shot because two of the modes. This one here. Is remember it this part one? in the movie where they're doing the like the uh, the uh, the chest thing where they put the shock on your chest, the defibrillator, yeah. and then he puts his hands through and the jaws bite his hands off. That takes place in the blood saucer as well. So I gotta I gotta practice oh, that shot. It? Yeah, that that's where his chest is, <laughs> and the little the little teeth come in there. So I need to practice that shot so I can make it more often. But fun table. Definitely challenging. BED says, if anyone wants to start a Switch tournament for this game, let me know. Yeah, yeah it sucks. Twitch can't be part of the yeah. main thing. Man, it just sucks because all it is is a, a score. You know, It's like, why can't they 
I know, you know, a lot of gameplays you can't include Switch, but this, you know, Zen tournaments you can actually include them. It's, it's just a, it's just a score. Yeah, I think it'd be you, easy. If to... you want to start one, uh, Biggie D, we'll we'll tell people that have a Switch to go join your tournament since we're doing yep. it this week. Definitely would do that. Start one under your own uh, under your own name, Biggie D. You can start your own tournament. We'll promote it on our key talk for you. That that'd be just for the Switch players. That's a good uh, movie, uh, Thor Casey. I'm surprised they never um, redid the thing. I don't think they, they did, could do. They it did a remake. They did a remake of the thing. I thought they just did they? Yeah, they did a remake. I know they did like a part two. You know, is it part two? Maybe, maybe, maybe that was it. The thing is, where the characters in the odd audience both said, "What the f?" I'm not sure what that means. Oh, uh, the thing had a scene where the characters in the oh, audience yeah. both said, yeah. "What the." That's in my video. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I, I, I took that cut. That was one of the ones I had to have. Oh, yeah. Okay. He said, okay, I'll create one and let you know the info for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll community post it on my, <clears throat> my page. Yeah, I'll community post it too. And we'll just have one gigantic then, thing across all platforms uh, for this week. Then we could uh, show it on uh, Saturday's uh, K Talk show as well. Yeah, we can announce the winners of of the Switch tournament too. Just gotta let us know. We'll do it. Make it, you know, more than big time. Eighty two in <laughs> two thousand eleven, according to Thor KC, two movies are made. Yeah, eighty two is the one to watch. Yep. Yeah, the eighty two one is John Carpenter. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the guy, you know, the guy's a good. legend. He was a legend. He made the best, the best, like oh, yeah. movies he made were incredible. So you can't go wrong. But I heard mm-hmm. the remake was good too. I haven't. I saw it, but I don't remember it. I watched it when it came. I know out. I did not see it. Yeah, I saw it, but I don't remember it. Um, I just remember when I think of the thing. I think of Kurt Russell, though. You know, just such an iconic person to do that role. Yep. All right, man. Got anything else? I think that's it. I'm done, man. I got nothing else. Three hours. Yep. I wanted to stay at two. We didn't make it again. That's okay. Maybe maybe Saturday we'll stay for two. Maybe Saturday. We got another chance, Pop Roy. We got another chance. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And uh, thanks, right. uh, Hobby Hands and uh, Jason, for the $5 uh, uh, memberships. Five memberships, yep. I should say, gifted. Yeah. Thank you guys for that. It's awesome. Drop a sub to uh, our K Talk and Star Wars reviews. And as always, stay legit. Thanks for coming to everybody and hanging out Thanks with us. Thanks for coming. If you didn't comment in the chat, we're still glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Check out our tournament. Yeah, come play come play pinball with us. $20 for a first player, first place, and then $10 random to anybody that joins the tournament. Yep. Random you can get drives. one point. You get one point, Power Brad, and you still enter the random drawing for just $10. That's got to be anywhere on the scoreboard. Anywhere. So come join Guys, have a great night. Hopefully see you on Saturday. And as always, like Pop Brad always says, stay legit. Good night, everybody. T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk live stream.
We're gonna do the Arcade Talk Show. Yeah, that's right, right here. The Arcade Talk Show. That's right, we're gonna do it tonight. Come on, people, let's do it. Let's do the show. What show is that? That's the Arcade Talk Show. Yeah, who's on tonight, you ask? You know who it is. P. McCluskey. And who else? You know who it is. A Papa Brad's a gay man, he's got passion in his soul. From pinball tables to Atari, he's always in control. He's a master of retro man, the old school style's his thing. With every flick of the joystick, you can hear the twang ting. Stay legit, pop a bread, keep the high school living. From the classic arcades to the Atkins pinball board. With the Atari 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true yourself, pop a bread. And always stay legit. He's a lover of the classics, the sound of pixelated beats. Late nights at the arcade with every game defeat. But he'll keep on pushing till he's reached that final stage. Papa Brad's the game in legend. His passion never fails. Papa Fred, keep the high school open From the classic arcades To the Act Games pinball board With the Atari 2600 Your love for games will never quit Stay true to yourself, Papa Brad Always stay legit 